My Garito Podcast Network presents. A la one, two, tres, cuatro. Back together, eh? How do we the band? Uh, estamos los tres otra we vez. only got one maestro here, bro. A maestro. Maestro Ramon. Nah, cuál? Ramon the EV hater. Hey, I'm not an EV hater. Oh, yeah, Ramon. <laughs> Dude, what <laughs> the fuck? Shit about I'm not work. an EV hater. Nacho, everything we said, he goes, what about? No, no. Says, what about? says, fuck your phones with wheels. <laughs> What do you do if you're if, if you're if you're out of juice? <laughs> yeah, but you gotta wait forty minutes to charge. No, or you're no, always no, on no, your no. phone. What if I if I'm gonna drive cross country? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if I want to drive to Alaska? <laughs> where am I gonna charge it? <laughs> Why you barely go to the corner? Where? <laughs> <laughs> the farther this goes is to the studio right here, way. <laughs> yeah. At this point, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. We were talking about. Hi. I guess in the in the pre setup or whatever it is. Nos, agar right. nos agarramos hablando de ramflas y carros y que la chingada. And then um, Fernie started bringing up the like the new fucking the well, yeah, me and, and and Esteban was bringing up the concept cars. Yeah, nos agarramos hablando. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I I, I was mentioning that I noticed that um, I keep hearing that people with electric cars are starting to find these places where they could charge your car because it takes. Let's just say. I didn't know it was 40 minutes, but let's just say an hour. Well, I guess it was rapid ones. Yeah. Anyway, so it depends, right? So yeah, they go much. have a have a drink at a bar or whatever. And it's like, you know, there's a little community now amongst them. Uh, amongst the, uh, the EV drivers. You know, like, ah, I got to go fucking. I got to go charge up. Fucking, I think I think watching the pinche en la barra, güey. Hey, güey. You know, there's a community of haters too. No, and then Those I'm Chevy like, guys. and then the step up, no, <laughs> the Duramax bottles, the Allison boys, <laughs> the Allison boys, <laughs> the Allison tranny boys. <laughs> no, 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 no. And I just have general questions, like, like, um, like at least in a, in a gas vehicle, you know, when you're you're on the red on your fucking fuel tank. You know that you have maybe depending on the on the year of the mark uh, the make of the car or whatever it is, it, you might have like what thirty miles, twenty miles, fifty miles. I'm like on an EV like cuando llega lo, a, lo, a lo rojo way like what like how much time do you still have it? And then these guys are like, dude, you're it's dead. <laughs> like, well, it's because um, I, I think that at least I misunderstood the first time. Right? I yeah. thought you meant like when when it's empty. When it, you said when it's empty. Yeah, I thought so, you said when it's empty. So I'm right? like, dick. When your truck is empty, you have all zero miles. Yeah, you, you, so you, car, you meant like when the when the, it's low. Yeah, but no, when you said empty, so yeah. I'm like, well, well, well because, there's no power away. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the gauge. Yeah, it's getting full and empty. Even when it gets to the empty, which is the red line, 
which it's not automatically empty. Yeah, you know? you're not empty. You, but you're on the red. Yeah. That's on the red, but it's on the empty side. I'm like, that's what I meant. That's where I, you know, I think I wasn't specific enough. Yeah, I mean, no, if you run it to the red, that's cabrón. No, 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 Because no, no, it no. gives you like fucking 50 mile range <laughs> before it gets to the red way. I mean, you don't want to run yeah, it in no, the no, red no. way. Uh, I mean, ahorita, desde, desde que tengo la troquita, I never, I rarely let it go past half of the tank. Yeah. You know, you got half a tank and psh, lo lleno. Yeah, yeah. So fucking that. Yeah. So, yeah, so you your EV you, is the you, same. No, it's que, it's que what happened is he said the word empty. empty. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, well, wait, he didn't but, say the gauge. Yeah, no, he said no, empty. But I'm like, when you get to empty. Low. But I did do the hand sign. Like when you get to empty, you still but no, have like you get, 30. You get, you get to the end, yeah, to the red, months. I mean, but yeah. you don't, you're not empty. You're not empty, where? I know. It starts alerting you that you're nearing yes, empty. Yes, because sabemos, we know that hack, you know. No, well, I mean, the new cars, even your truck tell you, oh, you have 30 miles left. Yeah, yeah you got range. 30 miles. Yeah. So, Dick, the, the, the EV is the same way. I it haven't tells gotten you, to that point, so I don't know. But I'm saying, why wouldn't yeah. a, a newer car tell you the same thing? It was thing? just a question that I have no. because I don't have one, so I don't <laughs> know you're that. just hating. <laughs> the other one Radiator. I asked... Oh, the other one I said is like, what about a long trip? So yes, this cabron just came on me. Like, <laughs> well, you're like, wait, what if I want to go to New York? Like, no, where, no, where? no, you didn't say long a, trip. A, 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 cross a, a, country. Cross country. Cross country. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm saying. Right? You want to go cross like, country. Like, no? yeah. and, and like, you don't have a power station or whatever. Like, cabron, when are you going to go on? That's, we keep hearing that. I'm like, well, can you do the oh, same? Shit. Like, for example, like if I knew I'm going, I'm going to cross through the fucking desert, right? And I don't know see if there's gas stations or not. I would take like a five gallon emergency the gasolina, <laughs> right? Just on the truck. Oh, like, can you do that with an EV? Well, that almost like, can you, can you carry an extra battery? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you carry an extra battery? <laughs> like, you can you carry here. one of those Amazon reserve packs? <laughs> <laughs> like, if you have a fucking uh, a, a, a pallet in the back with a fucking battery. No, right? but I mean, I want like a little, like a little power charge. No, <laughs> so then I'm like, can, you can carry a generator. Oh, like, oh no, shit, and, yeah. And then he said, oh, so can I charge it as I'm driving it? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Because <laughs> I'm thinking the but that's all hate, Yeah, but that's all hater yeah, shit. Yeah, that's all hater shit. That's not hater shit. Yeah, because like then Esteban, question. yeah, but then Esteban said like, dude, do you drive while you're pumping gas? <laughs> no, but, yeah, it's not the but because earlier he had mentioned something about <laughs> the cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> about the cell phone and shit like saying like uh like you know like dick when your cell phone is dead is dead you can't text or call that, that's because you said empty where some yeah, like when okay. your cell phone's <laughs> dead so how like, many calls can you make with so, and, <laughs> oh, yeah, and that's, that's same, <laughs> <laughs> and that same mentality I'm like well you know like if I if it was you know while I'm charging the phone I can still make calls and call out can like can that work on the on you can still EV? call out yeah for sure no no on the EV I'm saying <laughs> yeah you can Electric still vehicle. use your bluetooth and call out no it's <laughs> He's charging the battery around. I know, but you're talking about different no, things. Char no, because I was going with the example that he gave me. I know they weren't related. It's not like when your fucking cell phone dies, you can't call or make texts. It's done. I'm like, I know, but so in that same theory and that same fucking concept, which they don't, they're, they're yeah, not, they don't go. They don't go. But I'm all like, okay, but no, the was, battery one goes because he was talking about the battery. If, yeah. you're, if your battery is empty, nothing's gonna work if it needs that battery. Yeah, there's yeah. no power. Yeah, but, so, but I'm all like, but then you're so, bringing it a step so further. So if I have a backup saying, battery, <laughs> let's just say if I have a battery. fucking spare battery, can I charge it into the car? If you have a spare and battery, it's running. If you have a spare battery, like he says, like on a pallet in the back, yeah, um, you could probably run at the same time. Okay, if, but if, if you're on the on the generator. <laughs> on the generator, I mean, if, and I'm thinking again, I was going, because I was just, I wasn't giving specifics, but I'm like, oh, you could just, if it's a Rivian, it's like a little truck. You could keep the generator in the in the back running of the bed the back. running <laughs> while it's plugged in. So I'm like, it's a win-win because you got the generator running. Yeah, it's but on the, gas and it's providing power to the car while it's going. Yeah, but the generator is not going to provide enough power place for the car to go. Oh, okay. See, the, I don't know. The, the, the battery system place is, is usually much more fucking voltage. Oh, okay. It All just right. sounds like a hazard way driving around with the generator. I mean, on. an emergency. <laughs> that's not efficient at all. And, 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 and like, talk, talk, ah, talk about it. the contradiction where you're trying to get away from anything that's gas powered, and you're over here running a fucking a generator. If it's gas powered, hey, man, listen. But <laughs> look at your examples. Like, what if you're running around? You gotta escape like a maniac, and you're out of gas. Hey, you're still out of gas in the truck. I know. Where are you gonna run to the gas station? Come back. Hey, and he's gonna start some shit if he pulls up to the gas station in his EV to fill up his generator. They're gonna be like. <laughs> oh, 
oh, these fucking guys are not parking at the fucking gas stations the way we, we park at their charging station. <laughs> because no, no, no. I'm trying to charge the. I'm trying to well, fill the the generator in the back. Well, here's the thing. I, I have seen. I have seen where like um, those, if there's a car, you know, low on gas or whatever. See, we still. And I don't know where the fuck I was it. It wasn't in real life. I saw it on TV or something. Something where they put in the funnel and they're pouring the gas as the car is going. You know, but that's two people. If you're by yourself, then yeah, you have to chingastas, you know? <laughs> but <laughs> si vamos dos, you're si vamos, finding these weird ass things. Si vamos to you, Fernie. Si vamos to you. Nos va siguiendo un cabrón. I'm like, I'm almost out of gas. But Fernie, I got five gallons in the back. And I'm <laughs> being chambudo. Like, fuck it. You jump in the back. I was just like, well, I'm driving. Uh, 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 y le vas echando the, el pinche gas. The only way I would see that that's efficient if you either rob the bank or you're running from the police. <laughs> where you're like, or, 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 or you just or killed somebody. Like like, what's, the, what's, what's so hard about pulling over and putting... That's how fools get caught up to. We. Yeah, but his hater aid, he's making these it's extreme examples. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a hater. I got nothing against the EV cars, you know? Like and then I he said, says the classic, I just got questions. I just got, that's all it is. I'm just curious. I'm asking these questions. And now that I'm he's, fucking he sounds, to... he sounds like Dewey Cox, where you don't want to this. <laughs> yeah, I don't, want it, I don't want it to be expensive. No, it's it's cheap the cheapest is. drug. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get addicted. It's non habit forming. <laughs> I don't want it affecting my sex life. It makes, makes sex better. better. <laughs> mm, I think I kind of want some. You don't want none of this. I kind of do. All right, get yeah, over here. Shit. I don't think we're saying it's better, but fucking. It's going to take a while for it to be accepted yeah. like that way. Yeah, but like I was saying, maybe in the future, algo le pasa a mi troquita or ya no se puede salvar or no sé qué. I'm going to have to get a new newer vehicle. And I think most likely it's going to be an EV by that time, you know? Well, that you might might not have a choice by then. Yeah. That's that's also that, tropeo. That's the part I'm not sure I, I'm on board with. Like the fucking. We should have quit, an option. Right? Yeah, quitando the, the option completely. Maybe you make less gas vehicles, please. Like you want less gas vehicles on the road type of shit. So you make less and then the majority are EV. But I don't think you should. But then I gas mean, stations are going to be like 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 power stations right now where they're like. Well, I mean, dude, you still. Cars, they're like, they're going to start separados. You're there's not going to be close by. There's a lot of stuff. Maybe in 20 years, shit changes. You know how fucking technology is. But there's a lot of stuff that. The, like at least right now, it won't work as efficiently on a battery. Pues it needs, it didn't. It the fucking battery wouldn't last anything. Like they they need more power. Pues, I mean, can you imagine what that's gonna do to the prices of used uh, gas powered cars? Where if if all of a sudden they're rare, yeah, where it's gonna get crazy. Well, I mean, the prices that we we're talking about before. Now the older cars are getting yeah, it's control. getting expensive. When they're was, they're now investments. I was telling you guys that I'm I'm trying to save up to buy a, a forerunner like a first gen from like maybe 85 to 88 and for that year and, and the car i want i mean i gotta save up like 10 or 12 grand way and for an 88 car way with fucking i don't think they were 200, that much miles. 200, 000 miles. 000 miles. <laughs> they're probably were we were they yeah because I, I remember seeing i remember seeing a commercial oh but you know what now that i think about it it was like for cal worthington they were used cars it was a used car lot well, a, a lot Ford of times dealer way. Yeah, but a lot of the times I saw like you know for three thousand dollars or seven thousand dollars, you know I would see that th that was a price marking, and even if you if you were to watch an older movie from back in the days, yeah, usually they pass by like dealerships. You see the 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 markings on the cars are like, ¿cuánto estaba esa madre? Like what the eight hundred dollars out the Shit, door? You know, <laughs> fifty dollar down. Yeah, <laughs> your 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 job is your credit. Oh uh, yeah, they still have those. They do. Yeah, I oh, go to fucking. I drove by Firestone the other day in Southgate, and there's a shit ton of car dealers still. Oh, they're right still there. there, yeah. With all those signs where, nothing, no, no fucking. Your your job is your credit kind of shit where, and they sucks because the APR is probably high where, and people get sucked. Thirty five percent, eh? Fuck, dude. I do see they have a lot of. I did uh, not too long ago. I passed by and I saw that a lot of those lots have a lot of those working trucks. Yeah. Those white fucking those white trucks the four yeah like the, the transits yeah, yeah. the yes, transits that's what the, I'm saying like stuff like that was well I mean, not the transits the transit but like the big the F250s or yeah. even like the the, the like the, the big fucking working construction type of stuff they, a lot of that can be electric yeah way batteries no. we don't have batteries that can handle that way the the even the the like the semis way the Tesla one is only good for like fucking like 150 miles or 200 miles, maybe max or some shit. Like, they, oh, wait a minute, uh, uh, a semi truck? A There's, semi truck oh, okay. was like, so they just use them to to get like stuff from warehouse to warehouse. Uh -huh. So, like, por see the shit llega in Long Beach. So they'll pick it up in Long Beach and then take it like to the main warehouse, wherever in Wilmington or something, you know? 
or not even that close. Ponle to Redlands, you know? I feel like California is probably going to be the one of the first states to like actually implement all that. That we well, we, that's what I'm saying. There's there's mandates already. Because I mean, California way is fucking. I don't know if you guys ever like like uh, go on Amazon and try to order some shit. That's like you you wouldn't think it's like oh we don't ship to California and it's like what the fuck why won't you ship this to California what oh, the fuck's the big deal yeah. like I I'm trying to I'm trying to buy one of those thin like uh, red uh, gasoline uh, kind of jugs. Like you're talking about, you carry a five gallon. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to buy one for my work van because I have one that's that's stocky, and I want one of those off road ones that I can like the slim ones, mount yeah. mount to the fucking my wood panels that I have inside the work van, and they can't ship that to California. Where it's like, what the fuck? I can't buy a fucking five gallon or whatever two gallon. Why can't I send this here? Where it's fucking crazy. Where it's ridiculous. Oh yeah, because it has to have that special spout. Even like uh, you, you try to buy bear spray, like my chicks fucking on to buying shit to fucking you know so, oh, it sucks it sucks that you know women have to go through this shit where they have to buy shit to to feel safe fucking walking on the streets and she looked up bear spray you know they have that bear spray that's fucking more powerful than the regular pepper spray and you can't ship that to california way. <laughs> like what <laughs> it's fucking nuts bro like some of those fucking uh, like the what what are those guns way the ones that are less lethal that oh, the, 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 the one you're talking about the yeah, one time the burn 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 yeah, yeah those you can't ship those here either way it's like you can't ship those here not all the models way what why I don't know way so fucking California is fucking sometimes that's a exaggerate weird one. way I think California sometimes they take it a little too much way but yeah that's a weird one way I haven't I haven't seen that because those are just literally fucking I mean I'm like how the fuck do these guys that, that have way. jeeps and all these uh, the, the taco trucks and all this shit. How the fuck do they have that thin one? If I can't order on Amazon, I'm, I'm probably have to go to like an off-road store or something. Or maybe, maybe these people have gone to like uh, other states, Nevada or Arizona. Los compran allá. Well, I mean, know, I mean, it's a fucking jug way, like fucking crazy, bro. Well, I, I've seen them advertise that the, the, like something else, but they're like the the, the off-road ones. You're talking like those little slim the ones. Little that slim stack. ones. Yeah, I wanted to just put it against the. They they I think they they seen them not advertised. They they change like the name on them. They don't they they say in other words they say they're not for. They say they don't they don't list them as gas ones, but mm. but they're but they're still the gas. You look at them and you compare it to like the so other. So it's one, the same thing. And it's like the same model number, everything, but not. It doesn't say it's for uh, gas. I'm use. gonna have to do that then. Algo así, because I remember I was looking at them when I had the Land Cruiser way. And it's like the same fucking thing. It just tells you, like, not for for fuel use or whatever. Yeah, with the wink. Yeah, and the wink, link. Wink. with the asterisk. <laughs> <Yeah>. Two asterisks. <laughs> but but like then you go like to their website and it's like the same one. I just didn't get away. Why the fuck can I buy this way? The fuck. Yeah, th- yeah, the little movie that's way. Road trip. The the that that burner whatever one that, that, that one's weird. It's take just the like show a, on the road way. It's just, like a paintball gun. No? You know, we use the excuse. Take the show on the road and we get you your fucking. Your <laughs> we, drugs. we get everything we can, then we get arrested <laughs> in this fucking state line. It's for reason. It's for our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we get fucking pulled over. It's for shits and giggles. Yes, so bitches quit this. Ah, oh, fuck! I hate fireworks, man. Hey, uh, can, can the stop like hurry? Cause I, I I'm on low battery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh sure! Why do you guys have an extra battery in the back? What's Why do you going have a generator here? running? And a solar panel. What, what are, and a five-gallon jug for <laughs> gas? What the fuck are you guys up to? A bear spray? Fucking oh, shit! <laughs> BB guns? What the fuck? What's going on right here? Is that a ghost gun right there? Like, oh, que la chingada. A ghost that, gun? Why wait, do we have a ghost wait, gun? Wait, is that a fucking kayak in the top of this fucking... <laughs> 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 you guys dump a body somewhere? Oh, man. Someone sent a video where, like, fucking Ramon with his gang. Y que la chingada. So son cuatro kayakers. You know, esos cabrones tienen, like, a grill. Fucking I'm asando from? carne. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see that one. Yeah, fucking, I'm like, oh, fuck, hey, you could do that? Yeah, te conocen, güey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then someone sent también una, where, like, it's like a little beer holder that you can put it, like, on the on the fucking, um, those bungee cords. It holds it, and you can, and it holds your fucking drink. Sure, we're going to have to get this guy an Amazon wish list and put it on the fucking website where it's, like, in order <laughs> shit for his kayak. Little no. Weber grill. <laughs> No, what's the uh, do an affiliate affiliate like fucking. like the only fans chicks that have their little Amazon wish list 
that you can buy things for them. Oh, no, no shit. <laughs> get him his fucking, his, his hall or whatever. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. His try on hall. Yeah. The, uh, we still get the, the little dollies that you can put it on and you can just walk it up to the, the launch pad. I, I almost pulled the Ramon way for, cause, uh, you know, I told you guys that I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy a Forerunner. So I'm like, I should already start buying shit. I was going to buy the timing, <laughs> the new timing chain. You know, I was going to buy all kind of shit for it. Well, I have in the truck first. Right? Las Yantas. Cause I want these kind of tires. You know? The suspension, the radio. Theater, the whole cooling system. You know what? I'm gonna get that Alpine pull-out fucking radio. I, I have everything, shit. fucking but the truck. Way <laughs> <laughs> it he gets already, you though, right? He, he already has the little the little Calvin pissing on the, the Chevy symbol <laughs> <laughs> sticker. Uh, what happened to those man? You know they those still guys. have them. Where yeah. you know, I see the right? old ones. I don't I haven't seen the new ones, but yeah, no way. Those swap meets me. Uh, there, yeah. there's uh there's there was there's a documentary on on hbo i guess they call it max now where this lady with some chimpanzees from oh, the yeah. tiger king the dude that directed tiger king he's directing this one and uh one of the shots where they're pulling up to the lady's fucking big ass compound where she has a bunch of fucking chimpanzees they have one of those uh, little stickers in the back of one of the cars, and and it's got pita and the pinche changuitos pissing on the pita. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! That's that cabrón, güey. Yeah. Uh, how was it? Have you started watching it? I started watching. It's pretty crazy. Th- it? Those people get fucking mental, way when it comes to those chimps, way. It's like a weird fucking obsession, and then these chimps. They develop these bonds with these fucking owners that are like weird way. It's fucking. It's just a weird dynamic way. It's, it's it's weird, bro. It's like no shit. It's like borderline sexual. Like what the fuck's happening here? Oh, yeah. And then they get really fucking um. They they get really uh defensive when it comes to like who their owners and like the people that care for them. Like that's why you see them attacking a bunch of people sometimes, right? Because they get jealous and they do all this weird shit where. They don't like men. Like if, if a woman owns one and then she has a guy come over or whatever. They get jealous. They get fucking jealous when. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah, no, they're smart where. They're smart fucking animals where. No shit. But oh yeah, I, I just watched the first episode, but it's a little like weird way, but it's good. I like your way. A lady definitely doesn't I mean, drive an EV. Remember fucking Tiger King one? I, I never saw the whole... Every time I came for... Because I was still working during the pandemic. So when I would get home, I was... You know, the mija and the, and the kid were watching it. So I would watch whatever they were watching. And it was just a lot of crazy shit. Yeah. And I kind of, you know... You kind of get an idea what's going on. I don't know all the details. I don't watch all the episodes. But I, I watch bits and pieces of it. Yeah, the pandemic fucking like you lost some other way. I mean, it's a good, it's a good little series, but for the pandemic way, I mean, it looks yeah. like it came out right at the right time way. Yeah, I never saw that one. No, 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 I guess not way. Yeah, it's pretty wild way. Fucking crazy shit way. I, I think that's the whole thing where what I'm getting is that people that own exotic animals, there's, they're, they're, they're different kind of people way. Like, the, it, it takes a different kind of person to want a tiger. Or a chimpanzee as a fucking pet, where like it, it, it's like. Does it start off as a pet, or does it start off as like them wanting to take care of them and provide for them, and eventually it evolves mm. as? I mean, parecita de como how it starts, where is mm. this woman in the seventies, the one that they highlight, um, the main lady that's mm-hmm. supposed to be like the fucking pioneer of of domesticating chimps, way. Well, um, she had her first chimp in 1971 where and it was a a, a fucking a pre premature chimp that he couldn't eat um like fucking uh formula or anything because he was too young it it, it it was a coincidence that she had a daughter on the same time this lady was fucking breastfeeding both of them at the same time bro Oh shit! Like the changuito was fucking sucking on the titty, and the fucking her daughter was sucking on the other one. Oh shit! So it's like a weird fucking. This little husband that one time he showed up from work and he came in and the fucking the chimp sucking on his wife's titty. Way it's like, <laughs> like okay, it's yeah, like, that's it's like what the fuck? Shit. Okay, all right, this is progressed. <laughs> uh, it's crazy, bro. I guess shit. this is where I bail. I, I bail. Yeah. No, yeah. It's like a hey, so that lady they highlight on the dockway, she's the one that basically all the changuitos that you see on, on movies and stuff, it came from her her spot. Her rancho, right? Yeah, her little rancho. And she's the one that, that sent uh, them to like, I think Babe has them or something. Like all the ones give us pinches changuitos like in the 90s way. That was her. Oh, shit. Yeah, because uh, there's a movie que hizo este, what's his name? Um, 
No, Ramos ganó Pio. Uh, ¿Quién Pio? Uh, este, Jordan Pio. Uh -huh. It's called Up. No, mm. not Up. Um, yeah, it's a different movie. Yeah, it's a... Uh, fuck. El pedo es de... It, it's about fucking... A, uh, Who's fucking what? An alien or whatever, but... You see little bits and clips in and the throughout the movie about a, a a chimpanzee just going crazy on a on a set, and they talk about how like there was an incident where a chimp fucking hurt people on a set, and that's why they don't movies don't use them anymore because they're like they're just very um, unpredictable and shit. So they kind of highlight on that a little bit. But I'm all like, oh, shit, that makes sense, you know? I think it's Missouri where, where they're from. But I guess Missouri has really lenient laws against uh, exotic animals. So that's a lot of people that live in. Um, and other things. I think it's Missouri <laughs> where. If I, um, I think it is Missouri. But, like, you, you know, you can own fucking. And, and she was breeding them way. She was like a puppy mill. That's why Peter got <laughs> on her ass. Because she was basically making a shit ton of money off of them. Way. Like she would, selling them? She would, she would uh, sell them. And then she would... Um, get them to be on movies and then she had this little thing where like you can if you had like a birthday party for a kid mm. you can hire her to come and with a little chimp and the kids would like it and but there was videos of like the chimp fucking attacking little kids like pulling their fucking like <laughs> get out of here yeah, and then the guy fucking trying to sell it uh the the her dude trying to sell that this whole this is what we're doing not him fucking having a huge ass fucking scar while he's talking to the press saying that this is safe because a oh, fucking shit. chimp bit his fucking nose off. Where <laughs> so it's like where uh -huh. your nose is all fucked up. It's you're, safe though. You're I mean, telling me this is safe. This fucking chimp bit your fucking oh, nose off. Shit. Like literally, way like you see the scar. It's like oh, oh yeah, shit. Yeah, remember that? Uh, what was it maybe fuck maybe twenty years ago? I want to say because yeah, I said I was gonna say a few years ago, but. We know how that time, goes. Yeah, time. But remember that lady too that had a chimp that mean que for for 10, 15 years and then it fucking attacked her and like ripped her face off oh, or yeah. some shit? Because yeah. she didn't get cake or something. It was like a dump. It, like he got jealous because I guess there was another chimp that fucking was the birthday party of the L and she got him a cake. He asked that way no le dio. So he got fucking pissed. Is that what it was? Yeah, I some, know. He could something like that? Something petty like that way. <laughs> well, like, well, like you're saying, like they get jealous, but she literally fucking, literally fucking scratched her face off or whatever. Dude, they're wild and they're strong, bro. They're strong. Y no le ayudan estos culeros that they they give them a bunch of sugar, way. <laughs> they fucking <laughs> se, 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 se chingan pinches Powerades, way. In the, in, the, in the movie of Salió ahí que they, they throw Powerades in there and these fucking dudes know how to open it and drink fucking Powerade. They're, they're, they give them McDonald's, way. Like, it's just it's just bad. That's why Peter was upset, way. <laughs> yeah, Here, even, chuck this Coca-Cola. I mean, they're fucking drinking Powerade, way. Hey, I thought I thought <laughs> Red Bull. I know, dude. Like, it makes sense, right? Let's give this chimp a, a monster. Here, ha have one of these Prime. I, I don't know about I don't know about <laughs> chimps, but are they carnivores or are they? Or uh, I'm not sure where. Yeah. I think they I'm fucking sure. carnivore. I'm not sure. But I mean, they love those fucking Happy Meals, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they they got collectibles. They love the chicken nuggets. They, they got the little collectibles and shit. <laughs> <laughs> they love chicken nuggets. They collect all the fucking they have toys. All, they have all the McMoon tonight. Yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> Mac tonight. Mac tonight. Or the Mac tonight. <laughs> they shit. have all those so little she's Transformers. Been doing this since the 70s. She's got all the fucking... It's those chips have must have a good collection going. They have no. those those transformer fries. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, those those are cool. Fucking, they got the eighty four Olympic fucking they're, little Sam. They have the, the, the dream team fucking <laughs> posters, the cups from fucking Jordan and Magic Johnson, the, the Space Jam ones. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man, maybe that's the one you you need a collectible. Hit them up, eh? Hit them up. That, that chimp's guarding this collection of fucking, <laughs> hey, fucking hey, all the beanie you. babies. Everyone <laughs> done them all. I'll give you a fucking a uh, fucking gift card for McDonald's, a uh, fucking hundred bucks for that fucking collection. Hey, right well, there. why is that fucking chimp throwing that Big Mac at me? Oh, that's scared. We put onions where he doesn't like <laughs> onions. <laughs> it's because he didn't get a toy in his one. I don't know why. Oh, he's, he's jealous. Why, why, why did it bit the dude's off, he's nose jealous, off? Because I didn't get him any fucking buttermilk sauce with his fries. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jack in the Box. Oh, right? ranch sauce. Yeah. yeah. He asked for ranch for his fucking fries and. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, oh, shit. shit. He, he didn't get the fucking. He didn't get the. the the Halloween bucket he wanted. Wow. He got the witch. He already has the witch. So he's fucking uh, pissed. The pumpkin. Holy shit. He's fucking bro. pissed, bro. This fucking dude's crazy. Oh man, uh, no, si está... yeah, that that's a little that's a little no, different. Much, 
It's different when you walk, yeah. you walk in and you're, you're the chimp's sucking on your wife's titty. Where you're like, hey, what's you're going like, on? Okay, time to re reevaluate this relationship. And, and then that's the story of how I lost my nose. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah try to get fucked. I in. also got jealous. Yeah, chimps are petty. He remember when he was an adult that I fucking cock blocked that one time <laughs> in the seventies. Oh fucking! Because <laughs> I live a long time with him. Oh, yeah. So come on, the species tortoises, I mean, no? The tortoises live long. No, I think well, tortoises so. are more. Uh, We're talking about hundreds of years of or something. No, those pericos, 20s. Those, those, those fucking macaws and all that. They live to like about 80 or 100 years. I, mean. I, I think if I remember correctly, they, they pretty much, it's, it's like a human lifespan with the chimps. Oh, they have no 60 years? Ah, so it's those chimps, man. They might oh, have fucking heart thought. disease, diabetes. I thought they, that's what I'm saying. they, they shouldn't fucking be drinking Powerade and eating McDonald's, right? Yeah. Gotta eat berries and pinches. Yeah, I thought it was like 20 or 30 years or something. No, see, I want those culeros, man. Well, no, well, they're, they're living good life on fucking Chichi and Gatorade. No, but it's good. That's the thing. That's what Peter was bitching about, I mean, because they get to the point where, the, like, they're in their mid 30s. Ya no los quieren para nada, güey, because they don't come out on movies anymore. They don't definitely don't go to little kids' birthday parties. So they're literally. They're not cute anymore. They're, right? they're not cute. So they're literally fucking prisoners, way. They're fucking retired. They're in a fucking convalescent home already? Yeah, we... A los 30? Yeah, we... Retirados, no pension, no nothing? Nothing, bro. Just sitting fucking Just waiting. collecting McDonald's toys. That's it, that's it. What a life. That and cabrón, güey. ¿Y los tiene vestidos o los todos están así a la, a la natural, güey? Los, los, los pequeños, sí, güey. They, oh. they have goofy fucking clothes like kids. Oh, they, they treat them like a little kid, güey. It's like a little baby to them. Oh, that's fucking sad. Yeah, it is, güey. Yeah. Bro. Uh, yeah, I don't. I wouldn't watch it. Nah, ni, ni ganas. I was hearing us. I was hearing they were promoting it. That's an interesting que la chingada docu series. I'm like, nah, not interested. Well, you're gonna get sad with because you like animals, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, nah, not interested. I'm like, sea lo que sea. I mean, I, I, I just uh, people like that. Yeah, it just makes me sad because these should be animals in the wild. You know, they shouldn't be kept in a. They call it sanctuary or a habitat or anything. No, they need to be in the wild. Wait, and they're you? dangerous también, you know, because como dices, they're like very primal. So they they don't know, like they get jealous, they're going to react on that. They get angry, they're going to react on that. I'm, I'm starting to think we got to fucking start a non-profit that, that goes leaves cases of Powerade in the jungle. Oh, my God, se matan los cabrones. No way. They shouldn't Fucking be drinking power. The sugar, the sugar <laughs> withdrawal, they start going crazy. Wait, and where, where, in what life do you think it's fucking responsible to give a chimp power away? Wait, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's insane, bro. No, it's not. <laughs> that's insane. Wait, they should just be drinking water, right? Give them some electrolytes, wait. Fucking <laughs> give them some power. <laughs> I'm <laughs> cafecito. <laughs> Rato, <laughs> fucking doing the Red Bulls and shit. Uh, that's how it starts, Here, right? Here's a prime. But, um, yeah, no, I don't know. The, Give them some Adderall. Yeah, we, those don't don't interest me as much, Wayne. They sound interesting, for sure. The Tiger King sounded interesting. That sounds interesting, but como que no me... El Tiger King te era una pinche novela porque que that, el, 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 mero, like, el mero mero no era, like, he was gay y se estaba terapiando a los otros güeyes que les decía, like, hey, you've seen a porno, right? Yeah. You seen a guy? You seen a guy? Yeah, you're gay. Yeah. Oh shit, maybe I am. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. guess I guess uh, to me it's interesting like when people are like like weird and different. Well, I like stuff like that. Wings. Well, you like the the reality TV? I do, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so it makes sense. Yeah. It adds up. Yeah, it's a nice little balance for me. Where? But you know what? I was fucking watching. That's I guess maybe dog falls in this docu series shit on YouTube. I I discovered the the A and E biography series. The Luchadores, when the, the English ones, the WWF. Yeah, the fucking yeah. Well, the ones I've seen are mostly WWF people. But yeah. I saw like the the Steve Austin, the Undertaker. Yeah. I've seen those. The too, Macho right? Man, yeah. the Ultimate, Ultimate Warrior, Warrior. Yeah. the fucking. Uh, I saw the Mankind one. I saw like fucking uh, six or seven of those fuckers. I saw fucking quite a few of them. Man. Yeah, they're good, way. They're, they're done really well, way. Yeah, I benched those two, way. Although you can tell which ones are fucking try to keep some shit out of it. like. Yeah, but like, I think they keep out of it because of the McMahons or the, the, the whole backlash that they would get. <coughs> oh, yeah, the, the McMahon, they siempre hablan bien bonito del way. But they, 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 they don't, I mean, they keep a lot of shit, way. Uh, uh, the other, the one KC was talking shit was a Bret Hart one. I don't oh, know. I haven't got to that one. I see. I saw that one there. Uh, I see because at Bret Hart, see, so, see lo que mom? Yeah. Well, es que the <coughs> way that Bret Hart wanted to leave was in Canada, like to, to retire, and they told them 
uh, they did some shit to him that I don't want to ruin it for you, but they basically promised him that he was going to lose the belt in Canada in his home country. And that was his last goodbye. And they fucked him over, way. So, si, si, se, si se la jalaron con, eso, yeah. con esa familia, way. Y por lo que pasó con Owen Hart también, way. It's a little questionable también, way. He's done a lot of shady shit. Yeah. Yeah, porque, I mean, some some of them, too, you, there's situations that they talk about, like like with McMahon, way, that you're like, oh, shit, that's that's pretty fucked up. But they all fucking end up, like, finding, like, the positive in it. Oh, but I guess in the end, he was right. And you're like... Well, was he <laughs> like, or like that's the business, or they're, they're like, well, that's the business way. He's he he thinks like a businessman, and like, yeah, pero te chingo culés. Yeah, like the the Ultimate Warrior one was sad. Yeah, that was a sad. That story. was a sad one. The fucking the Macho Man one too. Like that about the fucking definitely had his demons way. The Razor Ramon. I uh, I don't know if there's a Razor Ramon. I'm sure there there might be one. Uh, I don't Razor, know if they have all of them he, uploaded. He wasn't one. doing too good a few years back. Where in the, that Diamond Dallas Page took him under his wing and and because Diamond Dallas Page does this yoga, he's got like he got really into yoga and so he started a program, the yoga helping people that have a hard time walking that are older. He, he through yoga he makes them be mobile and be able to work. And he helped Razor Ramon and Jake the Snake Roberts. Yeah, right? one, Jake the Snake. He brought them into his house. They were living with him for a long time. And he brought them fucking Scott Hall looks good now. Where, and no he was, shit. He was doing pretty bad. Where, yeah, Jake the Snake, that mm. man. They yeah. have a G. I think I saw Jake the Snake one way. I haven't got to that one either. That one's sad, bro. Jake that the man? Snake, yeah. Because yeah. he, was, he was wrestling for math that, that was towards the end of his career. Where he was wrestling for math. Yeah, shit. like a fucking small, like yeah, like a freak show kind of shit at yeah. a fucking carnival kind of shit. And you're like, wait, that's Jake the Snake, where? And uh, I think the wrestler's life is pretty fucking crazy, where? It's, uh, that, that, that's kind of what I got out of it, where it is fucking crazy, way. Porque even like that, like I'm saying, the Macho Man was sad, way, que... I mean, like when se murió, pues, fucking, it was a whole fucking, it was pretty sad way. Y luego, there was a lot of drama with him and Elizabeth E. Hogan también. I don't know if, I don't remember if they yeah, highlighted they, they, it on the... They, they, they talk about how his beef with Hogan, que... He was jealous. Well, no, his beef started, his beef fucking, they used to hang out, he thought, like, the, the, the beef on the, que miramos on the thing, was all kind of, like, mostly manufactured, pues, pero that it's in a hole, because he used to be fucking... He was called the Macho Man, and he was definitely fucking a little machista way. Like, you know, he used to, and the thing used to be very protective of her. And people, like, in the thing, they highlight like, uh, at some point, people started fucking wondering, hey, bro, is, is this part of the show, or is this is how he safe? is? Yeah. Yeah, like, they, that he would lock her, like, in the dressing room, like, con no estaba saliendo or whatever. He would literally lock her in the fucking, in the dressing room so no one can get to her type of shit. That's okay. He was a very jealous person, way. Yeah, so it turned yeah. out it was... Because even like the, the other girlfriend that does talk in the, the little documentary talks about how he had cameras in her fucking house, like to see fucking if she was home when she was saying she was home type of shit. She had a she had a sad ending too, where eh, Elizabeth. También, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Con, con el otro, el otro way sale también and the, the guy that, that she died with, the one she was Goldberg, doing drugs no? with. No, it was... Oh, a, Lex Luthor. Uh, este, I think it was the... the it was Lex Luthor, yeah, no? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Lex Luthor. Yeah. Yeah, the pinche. And, and he was like, bro, like he kind of... Took responsibility, way like he goes, I I didn't fucking force her to do drugs, but I was definitely like Lex, a, Lex Luger, way. Yeah, he was like, yeah. but I, I was definitely an influence. But yeah. he goes, and I I kind of I kind of like a, take responsibility for that. I go, but I, he goes, I didn't force her, I didn't fucking, but see, I was like a motivator, but like I was in a no, what is it? Yeah. An enabler type of shit. Yes, way Lex Luger se ve bien acabado, that way. Like I remember the, yes. the, the the like iconic Fourth of July match where he body slammed Yokozuna in the ship. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember fucking whatever patriotic? He yeah. was fucking jacked, way. All these battles are fucking. And then now you see him like like in these documentaries, he se ve todo ya bien Yeah, the the yeah. So the fucking Macho Man, I didn't. I thought it was yeah, fucking. Yeah. I thought it was a yeah. That's Dude, he was the, Jack when he was in the fucking. Yeah, yeah but Do you remember him. I, I'm trying to. Uh, that's what when you guys are throwing. Just look, like, look, look up like the pictures. You'll yeah, see look come up out. a picture. He was, where he was very patriotic. Where he was fucking jacked. Yeah, it was huge. El pinche que sale, si sale ahí, wey. And the, pero el pinche. Uh, so yeah, the Macho Man one got sad because I guess as soon as he found like, kind of like like happiness, it's cuando se murió. And then the the Ultimate Warrior one about the fucking. And he became like right wing fucking well, that, that, extremist way. He became like uh, a, he started yeah. talking shit about fucking gay people. Yeah, and, I remember. And that that's fucking bullshit. Like it, that that's not real, whatever. Yeah. But then that shit turned on him too, and then fucking, 
the the one wife that talks on the thing that I men explains that she goes he was listening to a lot of like Rush Limbaugh shit like that <laughs> yeah. so kind of se lo terapiaron yeah they brainwashed him yeah and then ese güey también güey like as soon as he's he's kind of found what he was looking for in life también se muere güey mm. so they all like fucking también el macho man same thing it's fucking sad güey it was at Roddy Piper también uh, like, they have one of that one too yeah. I haven't seen that one but okay. seen, I see that. he, he was in my favorite type of shit so I haven't got to him yeah, yeah like, I, I, really? told, I told you I, not that I didn't like him I just uh -huh. he wasn't I told My you a Roddy Roddy right? Piper story from those doc series that happened here in LA where where um he was making fun of Mexicans. I, I forget the the exact thing that Roddy said, but I mentioned it in the podcast, right? But it's from, oh, shit, from, from that, one of those? Yeah. Yeah, because he, he, he wrestled somebody in LA and he fucking he knew there was a bunch of Mexicans there and he started saying shit. Oh shit. That's really out there. Cause he was a troll way, isn't it? Yeah, Roddy he Ray was a, yeah, he was a Yeah, he was a good troll though. He was pretty good. Yeah. No. El, and you you notice how fucking all their lives kind of fall apart because you're never yeah. home. Right? Yeah, you're never home. Where right? it's a, the fucking even the the macho man they talk about how when he came back he was all fucking mamado and he was fucking all steroid that way. Talk about all that shit too. Right? Is it the Stone Cold way? The the, the Stone Cold the, one's the, good too. The, right? the, I don't know if I can't remember if that one highlights that, but I definitely heard um, Eric Bishop on a, on a podcast. I think he was on. A, I want to say he was with Rick Rubin because Rick Rubin's a big fucking wrestling fan. Oh, and I think uh, Rick Rubin, remember Eric Bischoff? Yeah, yeah, WCW? yeah. They're, they're, yeah, they're always, talking sh they're always talking shit about him. Man. Yeah. And, and all the little documentaries I've noticed and the document, the little biographies, <laughs> I've noticed because I guess he was a, he had some say in the WCW or whatever. And they're always saying, oh yeah, that dude didn't get it. And Eric Bischoff didn't get it. So that they always ended up going to the WWF because like, he never saw the, the people's potential. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, but definitely he was he was crushing the ratings though, because Eric Bishop they had Monday Nitro back in yeah. those days, and then Eric Bishop said we have to compete with them, and so he was able to figure out what the WWF was doing wrong, which was taping. Like he he literally fucking in the first fucking ever WCW Monday Night that it was Raw. And he, and he basically, the very first taping, he was the Scarado Eric Bischoff, because right? the very first taping of the WCW event on a Monday night to compete with Raw, he said, this is what, uh, WWF is not live. They, they wrestled on Saturday. This is what happened. This taped, guy won. Yeah. This guy lost. So now you get to watch something that's live. Yeah. And so he was he was able to fucking get the ratings off of WCW, uh, WWF for a while. And they don't, uh, the McMahon doesn't own WWF anymore. They're owned by the same company that owns the UFC. Yeah, yeah. Los compraron recently. Pero el pinche, yeah, because they talk a lot about that. Like that vato told uh, a lot of these vatos. Like he told the... Uh, like a uh, Steve Austin way, okay, he'd never be a top guy way. Like no one's gonna really. He'd always be like a like a B. Pero eso pasó because uh, St St Steve Austin didn't have the character yet, where he was kind of struggling with. He didn't know. He didn't know his character. He yet, didn't but, know. But but as soon as he fucking discovered the Steve Austin character that everybody knows, I mean, he, uh, Bishop was saying how like St Stone Cold would would make a shit ton of money just on merch. Where like he was one of the most. He made. He, he is the one that's made the most he, money. He, on merch, he's right? been the most profitable fucking wrestler as far as the merch goes. The, the three sixteen or whatever that they still sell them. But no, that one he told the the the, the ultimate warrior guy que ese güey también he no one would ever like de que estaba bien mamado because he was a fucking huge dude. He goes, yeah, bro, you're huge, whatever. He goes, but you just don't got it. You'll never be a top guy. I don't think he, I don't think what, <laughs> I don't think what Bishop, but, but this is before the character, the ultimate war that oh, we Oh, no, yeah, yeah, that's so, what I'm saying. So but I don't I'm, think Bishop had the, the, the knowledge like, like McMahon did to have the vision of saying. That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So in all these fucking things, which you, like that's what I was saying, part of the thread is that Que ese güey never saw the, the people's potential. Pues. Yeah. So like all these big dudes that yeah. went to WWF and somehow there yeah. found themselves. Yeah. Like that dude, like they couldn't have found themselves because of that. Bato. Like yeah. they, he just didn't have that environment or whatever you want to call it or that imagination. Que el, el mamán, pues, es un pinche mamón. Pero he, there's something that he causes like a creative thing. Where, I mean, look at the I don't know if it's, look at the Undertaker way. I mean, when he wasn't the Undertaker wait, before, he was just some fucking big ass dude. But then how iconic is the character of the Undertaker? Way? I mean, yeah, you just hear the bell. Ding. The yeah. lights go off. Like, yeah, I'm, pues ese wait, también. I don't know if it was, I don't, that one, I don't remember if it was the Bischoff, but wherever he was wrestling before, también, they told him, yeah, you're a big dude, but tampoco, you don't have, you don't have it. 
<laughs> yeah, we're, and then one of the most iconic fucking wrestlers ever that, that that had a long ass fucking career. I mean, the Undertaker retired recently. Way, right? yeah, he's been wrestling since we were fucking kids. Right? He did like thirty years, or and some he shit. was the same one, right? Like, yes, yeah, so yeah, the, the, the King was supposedly his brother, and the, there was some shit saying, "Get no, okay, that's that Undertaker. He just put a different mask on." But but then they they fought one time, and you're like, "Well, how's it? How is <laughs> that the same guy?" A lot of times, but, but yeah, the, the Undertaker one was pretty good. He but had a crazy, crazy career too. Where he had a lot of up and downs, way. But what they're what they're saying that one too that that you don't come as that way. Like they, they don't even talk about all that that little thing that people say that ah, I was too. It was one different. Yeah. Es que primero salió with his, I think his natural hair is red, so salió with red hair, and then he fucking started dying in black, and then his face kind of probably from steroids and all that. And then he was all tatted a little bit. You talk about Undertaker? Yeah. yeah, yeah. When he first came out, no estaba tatted, I guess. Yeah, yeah, but that, I mean, tats. Yeah. I mean, tats, yeah, you could add them, but it's like... <laughs> it with. Yeah, it's just, it was weird because I remember growing up seeing him and then at some point I stopped watching it. It's because he was there for fucking como yeah, like I stopped years, watching man. it and then they like, I, I see it again and I'm like, that's not the same Undertaker, you know, that I remember. But you know, and the 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 Paul Bear was a trippy dude. Yeah. Huh? He always gave me the weird like with the uh, urn. Yeah, he was a trippy guy. <laughs> oh, yes, look at the 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 fun fact I learned in that is that Paul Bear también they're like interviewing people to or fi- trying to figure out who they're gonna put attached like to be his manager, and that dude had been like a plane or whatever que querían jale con ellos, and the fucking I guess the one of the dudes the fucking one of the dudes that comes out a lot I can't remember cuál es el el uh, some dude way in management fucking that always would recruit people to the WWF or tell them to go, hey, should go over there. Like he's like, I guess I, it sounds like he's about to always saw like the, 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 the talent, the, the potential. Uh, it wasn't way. the Gorilla Monsoon? No. El, um, mean Gene. Name? No, el Mean no, Gene también comes out of the, the, Yeah, but well, that guy también, he goes, he noticed, I guess, in that dude's resume that he was a fucking certified mortician. <laughs> So let's say Wade was actually a certified mortician. He's like, Holy shit. he was like fucking perfect, Bato right here. Yeah, it this is guy's perfect. fucking perfect. And I was like, oh shit, fun fact. That's crazy, man. Yeah, those are those are fun, man, because they bring you back when you were a kid. I used to be a huge wrestling fan, man. Yeah, yeah. The the one that was the most roller coaster that was definitely the like the Ultimate Warrior one, because I Bato had like his little, home, and he beefed with me. He he had like my man as a the, like a father figure, and then he let him down, and then se pelearon. Then he went on his little fucking super conservative talking shit about gays fucking life, and then kind of start try to bounce back, and then fucking steroids fucked him, and then he, it was a whole. That dude went for a the, 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 like not natural causes, but he had a heart attack. Yeah, heart it was time. natural. Man. Well, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. It wasn't like an accident or it wasn't no. like self-inflicted. Macho or Man hit a tree and fucking yeah, he died crashed in a his car, Jeep. car crash. I think, yeah, well, I think he had like a heart attack while he was driving yeah, and he, he crashed. Yeah. So he didn't die of the heart attack. He died yeah. de dio infart, el pinche infarto well, and his wife fucking did like, like pulled the steering wheel to pull him off the road and they hit a tree. She killed him. And she survived. Huh? She killed him. Plan con man. No, yeah. pero yeah, el, el, el ultimate warrior one was sad, way. I mean, I don't know if people know the story. I don't think anybody watches a fucking spoiler alert. But El Pinche Vato, like he had kind of kind of just fucking started finding like a happy place like El Macho Man. And then he finally fucking made up again with, with fucking Vince and the W. And they, because they. They inducted him, no? They they were trying to induct him into Hall of Fame. And he's like, fuck you putos. Like he had fucking hatred machine yeah. for them. Fuck you putos. But he was finally like in a, a, a better place that he was like. Eh, ah, porque chingado, no. He's like, Sasuke, all right, let's do it, way. And then it's insane in the video when he's fucking hugging my man and the little tank, poco, yo no estoy llorando, yo tampoco, way, type of shit. And then he, as soon as he got his thing, the next morning, way, he died. I mean, I don't want to be conspiracy, like, uh, have some yeah. conspiracy. <laughs> bring it, bring but it. The, the, when Owen Hart died, way, he was beefing with the Hart, uh, McMahon was be- beefing with the Hearts and Brett, and there was a lot of fucking uh, drama around them, way. So, oh, uh, when, when, when this dude, do you remember how he died, no way? No. Like, he, he was, uh, he was gonna enter the ring, like, in one of those zip lines, and somebody, the, the, somebody put a, a fucking cheap ass fucking hook on it that wasn't oh, like, shit. it wasn't like, the, was like the rock climber fucking. Oh, it wasn't rated for that. Nah, it was, it yeah. was, it was they, they cut corners. It so. was from the fucking checkout at Target. Yeah, it's like the, yeah, <laughs> the exactly. Carabiners. Exactly. Those <laughs> carabiners. Yeah. yeah. And, and so fucking, 
when he was going down on on uh, on the I think it was live where he actually the, no, man. he was coming down and that thing snapped and he fell to his death way. Oh, so shit. for me, I'm like, ah, where this doesn't matter where you're beefing with the family and all of a sudden no one heart dies from some fucking neglect. I don't know, eh? I wouldn't put it past fucking Vince that he did some I shady don't think shit. I would put it past him either. He he seems like a very vindictive fucking battle. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you kind of have to be. No, that's that's the shit that like Dana White gets. It's like I don't know if you have to be, but um, yeah, everybody says that Dana White is like a, a ruthless fucking business person that's running the UFC, and and I feel like McMahon has like s the similar traits way to be able to run. Well, I mean, because you gotta think way, what kind of personality is required to to run an organization that's full of dudes that are jacked and fucking full of fucking roided out? Yeah, like you have to be fucking. They're, they'll walk all over you if you fucking aren't a certain way, man. I think. I don't know. Yeah, porque even the 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 Steve Austin one was fucking cool, way. Even though his his career was like fucking, like I said, way came up como like cerillo, way. Like he fucking just burned super hot, fast and fucking done, way. Ya no podía type of shit. Yeah. But he's the one that they're saying fucking gets credited with with like a lot, like the way all the wrestling you see now started like with what he started doing. He's the one that started pulling like McMahon really like into like the matches and fucking with them. And th and then uh, Bishop and in, in the interview, I think it's the Rick Rubin podcast, right? But Bishop was saying how like um, in those days, uh, like alcohol companies wouldn't fuck with them because they would they would see like ad for advertisement. So just yeah. imagine, fucking uh, Stone Cold would always crush a beer. Like you're not getting advertisement from the beer companies. They're not selling. They're, they're not advertising in the stadiums. Like they didn't. They didn't want to fuck with them because they saw wrestling like as a joke. But it was like, I think. I think what it was with. Now I remember what it was is that people that weren't in the wrestling wrestling sphere, they thought wrestling was for children. They didn't realize that. 20 year olds 30 year olds mm. were going to wrestling matches and they like to drink fucking beer so the the advertisement companies like that were that was working with like Budweiser and these big fucking Anheuser-Busch they were like oh what what are we gonna advertise with you guys there's a bunch of kids watch wrestling not even realizing the demographics that watch and well go I, to the I think yeah by, by the time the Stone Cold thing I think yeah the, the audience was had grown up with it because like in our tiempos the the Hulk Hogan's and the Ultimate Warriors, I think, yeah, the audience was probably younger, no? But you look at the old SummerSlams, WrestleManias, and there's there's, there's dudes in yeah. their 20s, 30s. I mean, oh, you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't see, like, fucking little chamacos all over the place. You I do, do see, you see a lot. You do, but, but not as much as adults. Well, obviously, these kids have to go with somebody. But there's mostly adults in these fucking... With, with just, battles fucking trying to get with their mom. <laughs> oh, that's true, right? I know. That, that yeah, was... That's, that's, hey, but I ended up fucking going to the sports arena. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We came out with a belt. Yeah, I didn't know what was happening. I put it together later on, but... <laughs> oh, shit, no, no. I thought it was... Never mind. I didn't catch that fucking connection right no, there. No, that's what he, that's what he no, said. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't yeah. I didn't catch that one. Like, yeah. uh, I thought it was like the like the moms in the audience taking their kids. And nah, shit. this guy, I thought you were wrestling. Figure over here Googling all the names we're throwing out. No, 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 because I'm looking at how they look now because I'm not like, I wonder if... We, Go find those documentaries where they're good. Right? Yeah. They're, they're done pretty good. I mean, obviously, they, you could tell they have that little slant towards uh, we don't want to offend, like we want to keep making them so we don't want to offend McMahon mm. and the... Uh, I mean, it throws me off that they always refer to it, even like in the olden times, they refer to it as WWE, like, like, was well, obviously meant it's forbidden to say WWF, but all the stuff says WWF in the old video. It's stupid way. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dumb. But oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, los que están chingados también son the Netflix one, the, the <coughs> 30 for 30s. They've done like a Ric Flair one, and, and those are oh, those are produced pretty good, like those sports ones. I don't know if you guys caught any of those 30 for 30s. I've seen 30. the one like the, like the, there's something similar like the juguetes, like, Toys of my youth or toys of the nineties. I forgot oh, what yeah. it's called. Yeah, yeah, I, I seen those. Like yeah, those retro have, ones. Yeah, they have the stretch ones, and then they have the fucking the. But I remember seeing those came out around the same time. Those thirty for thirty. Type yeah, they, they they basically just highlight like they'll, they'll they'll do one for like the Raiders in the eighties, how they were like a dangerous team, shit like that, where like fucking they would hurt people on purpose, yeah. that kind of shit, and then they would just document, do like a little. And then the fans fucking don't help. Yeah, for tam the Raiders. Well, Tamir, I, I saw that I got a. I don't, I don't know if I brought it up here, but like a, a month or two ago, maybe. I don't even know how long it was. I mean, I, was, I started watching like on Amazon. I found like this old document. Not old. They're pretty new. But of like old shit. Like I, I was watching the, the Barry Sanders one of oh, yeah. of why he left. Like I just fucking faxed, 
faxed it in pretty in much. Mouth. Yeah, he literally faxed in. He fucking left to Europe or to fucking Britain or something. He just faxed the, the resignation. The, his resignation, like I'm out. Holy shit! I didn't know that. Yeah, like that. He so, was badass. So uh, at his prime, or he was already. He was. Down he, he still had some years left in Norway. Yeah. Because I even remember fucking wondering, like, like in esos tiempos, like, hey, what did what happened to Barry Sanders? And then yeah, you know, se te pasa. And then I saw a thing, and it, you know, the little trailer fucking goes, yeah, bro, this vato shows like the fax machine with like a fax coming out. Okay, he just left abruptly. I'm like, oh shit, is that how he retired? So I started watching it. It's pretty interesting. Where, yeah. I mean, it, it's probably a little longer than it needed to be, but it explains how he came up and all that. But it tells you all his madre, and then it tells you how he left, and then it explica que, yeah, where he got frustrated, que, que all his buddies that he came up with when they had a good team, and when it looked like he was going to make it and shit, que, and then they started getting rid of all those vatos, or no se fueron, and then ya no le daba nada y bueno, güey. Mm. So it was like, he was fucking carrying the team and he couldn't carry the fucking team. He was getting told for that shit. Yeah, stuck out on So he got really frustrated. He goes, like, no, fuck that. I'm out. Yeah. Yeah, stuck out on I mean, Detroit, um, they never, have they really had a good fucking sports Not team? since then. Not, I mean, that's the best person I've ever, I mean, I remember. the Tigers. He was, well, I, I think they had a whole beef way and eventually squished it. Who was the guy that played for the Tigers in the 90s? Que estaba medio gordito, the baseball player. Was it? Was medio gordito? It, it wasn't Cecil Fielder, right? There was a. The, I think the, the the Detroit had a really like the one. Tigers. You know, like the nineties. Yeah. I yeah, feel like yeah. they they all had their star player. Like you had Griffey in in Seattle. You had Frank Thomas in Chicago, and I think I think they had. Um, I remember some gordito. I think his name was Cecil Fielder. Right? Cecil. I, I I know that name, but I don't remember what team it was on. Yeah, with. I think he was with Detroit, right? but yeah, it's it's interesting when those 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 sport and then. We mentioned football right now. Like, there, there's always a debate uh, amongst like uh, the Milwaukee Brewers. No, oh, he's talking about the, the, that's his the son. Way that's oh. Prince Fielder. That's his son. <laughs> no, this is Cecil Fielder. No, oh. but that's his. That's his son. Junior. That, that's his son. Um, there's a debate because you know, like, um, like it's funny because like baseball is a World Series, and I was like, why is World in yeah, there? Yeah, there's way? no World. It's stupid. Like the World Cup has like the whole fucking planet. So like among like uh, football, not American football. But they, there's always a beef of like why football is called football. Yeah, see the Tigers. Yeah, it was a yeah, fucking ridiculous. It's a way for the yeah. fucking. Oh, yeah, no, hey, definitely. Hey, yeah. But as a way, con los honros era chingón, way. Ponía todos los kilos in that swing, way. Yeah. <laughs> he put all those kilos yeah, in Yeah, he, he was a good player, way. But there's that debate, way, where like the, the outside of America, they're like, why are you guys call it football, way? Like, because yeah. there's a confusion because you don't go to Europe or other countries and say. Soccer. Yeah, you don't say soccer, way. Like, yeah. and then so they get, they get kind of like uh, upset. Or kind of like, wait, it's it's football. Well, no, it's soccer. No, it's football. Like, and, yeah. and so there's like this little rivalry between American football and like football, at what it is. And then when you really think about it, it's like, why is it called football? Way eh? that doesn't make sense. I, I remember I did. I, I saw a YouTube video que, que they 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 explained the history on it too. Pero ya ni me acuerdo que fue. I'm just gonna say it was spite. Che americanos somos spiteful way. Yeah. I mean, I, I, el pinche football makes sense that they call it football because you play yeah, yeah. with your foot. And the American football, the yeah, only time is when you kick it or you punt it. It's fucking, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I mean, is it because of the footwork? Like football, like you're fucking, the wide receivers have to fucking do a little. <laughs> I don't know. That that's a good question. Like, yeah, it doesn't make sense. And it's a good argument. Yeah, like, spite. Why is I'm going to stick to spite. Yeah. Probably right where. I mean, that's why you got to make that distinction. American football, you got to throw the American part into it. You know? Well, no, you got to throw the American part. Like if you're elsewhere, yeah, yeah. Like you don't throw it. I oh, know. But if you're shooting the shit with somebody that's like uh, in Europe or even like other countries, that's when you got to throw in the American say, part. You, yeah, because you can't say soccer where they'd be like, well, it's football. Like they'll, yeah. they'll probably call you out of, about it where. Like yeah. you fucking Americans. Yeah. You're so fucking entitled. You yeah. take everything. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a, it sounds like pretty spite, bro. But that, there's a YouTube video somewhere. I, I've seen it. The argument that I was hearing was these podcasters that were talking. To, it was like a one of the Bitcoin uh, podcasts, and the guys from Chicago. So they were talking about sports, and he was saying the 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 best the best athlete ever. This guy was saying was Michael Jordan. And people are like, wait, mm. like you can't just fucking go oh, by. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. What? What about soccer or, or or football? And they were like, no, but Jordan. And and it's like a very American thing to say that the best athlete ever in any sports is an American athlete. When yeah. it's like, 
the 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 range and the 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 fucking the the viewership for actual football like soccer is fucking surpasses any fucking it's international i mean you can argue that the super bowl gets a lot of fucking views yeah no you think that man i mean you have to but i don't see not world know, cup level views i don't right? see yeah little towns in like in fucking in mexico fucking seizing to watch the game you know a ver el super tazón the super tazón nah, he visto que conoce el pinche mundial fucking everything shuts down for that but, but i mean everybody knows jordan también i, I, no, I, sí, I guess in some but to say the greatest athlete yeah, yeah. ever i mean uh, i mean not, it, it, también how, how do you i mean you, there's a lot of take in no like how do you even qualify like que, el que tiene más campeonatos El que tiene hey, his, more rings, you know, this, like this guy's it? argument was was throwing the fact that Jordan has created a brand, but then they were like, "Well, we're talking about athletes. Like you're, now you're talking about a brand, which I get. Way, I mean, there's no other brand like the Jordan brand yeah, yeah. as far as like shoes, merch. I mean, it's a billion dollar fucking brand where Jordan, just that, the name. So Jordan. that's what I'm saying. How do you qualify? How, how is, do you, is it the yeah, rings? What's the metric? Is it the brand? Porque even el el Cristiano fucking. Has has fucking uh, like a ridiculous amount of Instagram followers, and they were talking about how he fucking put a YouTube, and about to got up to like sixty million in like a day or something. Wait, remember when he was in the press conference and he's talking shit about Coke? Like you shouldn't drink that. Coke yeah. stock went down. Yeah, it crashed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like so how do you how do you qualify? Uh, Porque I mean, I would put I would put someone like a obviamente no tiene the rings and or fucking championships and the brand anymore but someone like Bo Jackson fucking was the one of the most athletic motherfuckers I've ever at least in my lifetime I think he played two sports chingon way not like he half he was, or anything not like he was okay at one and, and chingon at another he was chingon at two sports at the same time way I don't think that could be done anymore way because with technology the the nutrition like every everything that these these sports uh companies and or these organizations have as far as like what it takes to be a, an elite athlete i don't think you could they would let you either uh, but uh, they wouldn't let you but the other thing is like i don't think you could you you'll be able to compete at that level if you're jumping from one sport to another when there's people that are just like when Bo Jackson was playing, I mean the 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 knowledge of the nutrition and the health wise as far as like and even the working out and everything it wasn't their way. So, yeah, the so, lifting everything. So I feel like if Bo Jackson was alive now, he wouldn't be as powerful switching half assing. Not not really. I shouldn't say half assing because that's not fair. But not spending your whole time and life to a certain sport. I feel like. He wouldn't stand out as much as he did in those days. But not to take anything from the fucking, the the, the incredible He wasn't athlete. a tall guy either, was he? I don't remember him. He was taller than us, I think. No, he? yeah, but he wasn't like, you know. <laughs> that, that, I hope, right? <laughs> like, like, like six foot fucking. If he was, if he was five six, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> nah, I well, don't think he I was. I think a, he was more like five foot nine. Nah, we're yeah. in the mom's. Right. Five taller. foot nine's average, right? So He's taller well, than that, way. Height. El, el, uh, but I'm saying that dude was super athletic. I don't know. Oh, I, six one. Yeah, see, I was, I was gonna oh, say shit. he was taller way, Look but at it that wasn't fucking stud not that way. tall. Look Wearing the that. Raiders jersey. I, like, like I'm saying, I, if if they would have let him play both sports, do which I don't know if they if they would. I think he'd still be. I, maybe you might be right way porque I think now you, to really fucking like be elite, you have to like you're saying you have to be in it way. So that cabrón, but I think he still would be fucking pretty chingón way. Yeah, you could Because right just athletic yeah. wise, he was. He was a fucking. Piece, he was a. Right? Yeah, he was a fucking anomaly. He's wearing the, the, the fucking that's shoulder pads. That, that's yeah. a classic fucking yeah, picture. Yeah, the shoulder right pads there. with yeah. the baseball bat. Yeah. Dude, yeah. That, that dude was a fucking beast way in both. Yeah. I mean, Ken Griffey played both, but he was better at football than baseball. Uh, he was talking about Deion Sanders. Not, yeah, Deion Sanders. Yeah, Deion Sanders. Yeah, baseball he was. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, but football era pinche verga fucking catching way. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So he played ball, but he might probably should have stuck to football. He probably would have been even better. Yeah. That's the way he fucking was killing at both ways. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is that he was what, flying from fucking from L.A. to Kansas. It was he a, played the, for the Royals, Royals, right? The Royals. Yeah. Kansas City? Yeah, yeah, Kansas City Royals. So imagine it. KC. I mean, como es este way, no lo van a dejar, güey. Because even like you get this with like, uh, like um, soccer, football. Like you get this with these players when, when like let's say they're playing for the Spanish league, and and their the la selección for their countries come up. Sometimes they don't they don't let them go away eh, to represent their their countries mm -hmm. because they don't want to risk an injury, 
So they have that much power to tell Messi, like, you can't go to play for Argentina uh, this this tournament or whatever because no vale la pena. No es la, el you, we got this this thing coming and like we, we don't want to we don't want to risk you getting injured but it, I mean, it all depends on your contract too you know like hey fucking i'll come to this team whatever but when my country needs me i have the option of going or not you see way but i mean you're playing with the spanish league it's like the the pinnacle of fucking of leagues where i mean i feel like you you're gonna like do what they want you to do just so you can have that contract where well and um if you don't have leverage i mean obviously messi with with his career like mm -hmm. now he has leverage or he had but i think when you're starting you know you want to play for the spanish league where yeah you, you want to represent your your país no yeah i mean but no there's a i'm i don't know if this exists i'm pretty sure i mean obviously it exists but in like in, when, in video games like the vatos, you get really into like different games. That there's something called the, um, I want to say it's called min maxing. So like you you want to max like your your little skill in the game, whatever. Like one, it's like like an RPG way, and you have the different skills way. Like you can put points to your strength or whatever. You want to find the like the optimal pues the, the least amount that you can do this, and the max amount that you can do this. Like to whatever. Like you're trying to make like a, this build way that okay, this guy's gonna be chingon con un pinche machete. Yeah. To do that, this has to be here. And like, let me see how many points I can lower this and raise this. Where like I'm hitting the max. I can do like the maximum potential fucking damage. Like, and you you literally the people fucking do math and research and you experiment to for find like athletes. the like. Well, for the it's a, I'm saying for the game, but it's oh. like for a video game. So I think that kind of applies to like the way sports are played now. Like they're saying, like for the same reason I'm saying, I don't know if they let you play two sports because you got to go all in, and they're literally like, okay, so we're gonna like min max you and like in real life, entiendes? We're gonna find the optimal. Okay, you you you're in a position that don't you don't really need a sprint, so we're not gonna do a lot of sprinting. You're gonna do very little sprinting. You're fucking that's okay. You're just pitching. We need you to do this, and like they find like the perfect workouts the perfect nutrition for this position this other guy is doing something completely fucking different porque this guy just needs to do this and everything's like so specified man this like it's like you're you're in a little razor thin little area of like for you that makes sense where i mean then that's what i'm saying like yeah, as that, far that, as like bo jackson jumping from one sport to another like it's the, like the training and the nutrition and everything so detailed to like what you need to do that it's hard. I, I would think it's hard for somebody to jump from one or the other. Even like the the conservation of energy way, like with with American athletes, just notice like when when you see like a basketball team or or a football team, like there's even footage of like Jordan playing golf and like there's a reason why athletes when they get off the bus they look fucking lazy way. They're wearing slides. They're walking slow. They got headphones on. They they they're just because they're conserving the energy. Where there's no need, there's no need to fucking. Uh, I need to use this in the field and in the sport. So you see them fucking walking, doing their regular thing. They walk slow. Like you're like fuck. These guys are fucking athletes, but the, it's just that they they know their body and they're conserving the energy for when it's needed. Like you you watch Jordan in the nineties play golf. He wasn't fucking moving around the fucking the, the links way. He was walking slow, taking his time, smoking a cigar, just using his energy when they need to. But even that is is a tactic that a lot of these athletes use way. And um and it's interesting like when you really think about it way because it made sense because I would always say like these fucking guys are slow as fuck. <laughs> they're true. fucking lazy like and then, yeah. and then I realized that well it's because they're conserving their energy yeah. way. I mean, they even like in, in baseball I kind of get like. I, I I understand like all they were saying and the kid, you know, you're fucking they're trying to be the peak of whatever they are way. But like even like the games like this like the Dodgers, I mean like they the way like they manage everything, pues even like all the teams not all the teams, sometimes there's some that break out and, and get some, some little magic moments out of it too, way. But yeah, because everything's like like super calculated, pues okay. This pitcher oh shit, yesterday way I gave a hundred pitches. And he's still doing well, pero sabes que no, güey. Stats say que after that he's going to decline. No vamos a sacar. Como pinche, shit like that, way Or fucking, sabes que in this situation, the stats say this, pues. And so I feel, I feel like more personally, like, like you kind of steal a little bit of the magic way, like of things that can happen, pues, yeah, okay, maybe the stats say that way. But those magic moments sometimes happen in spite of the stats. It's the exception to the rule, no? Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't get Kirk Gibson getting a fucking... Fuck! 
no. game winner if it was like, nah, well, he's injury <laughs> where we can't put that. I think I feel like what you're saying is true. Where like you wouldn't get those Kirk Gibson moments because you would be like, well, this way is injured. Let's not send them out. And look at that fucking classic Dude. fucking, even the fucking, the everything. Yeah. Like, fucking, we know it because we've seen that video so many times. Right? Well, fucking you weren't here, but I went to go. I was at the Dodger game with Shohei Otani. Stole his 40th well, this base history too, eh? and and hit his 40th home run. Oh, really? You were there? Oh, dude, that fucking it was. You can't express the energy that was in that fucking in that stadium. You know, like you saw the fucking compa steal a base, like oh shit, it's like fuck yeah. And then bottom of the ninth, bases loaded, two outs. Película, yeah, two outs. Fucking se me hace que fue el first pitch. Yeah, it was the first shit. Inga, and we're like, holy shit, we're all standing up. Because even when he went up to bat, everybody's like, the whole stadium stood up. And everybody's fucking clapping. I'm like, fuck yeah, let's do this. Some dude is like, dude, he's going to fucking, he's he's going to score the uh, fucking the game winning run. I'm like, shit, a grand slam? You think so? He's like, yeah, watch, watch. <laughs> but there's always that dude. Yeah, like, and I'm like, all right, <laughs> every, fuck it. Every bat that guy has. Fuck it. And His then, name is Ceviche Joe, by the way. <laughs> 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 yeah, and sure enough, and we're all like, fuck, no way. You're high-fiving complete strangers. Y que la chingada. Like, we fucking did it. Mm -hmm. That's not me. No. We're, oh. You know, we fucking did it. Yeah, we didn't have shit to do with that. But, you know, it's that, that fucking... Man, that man, I don't know if you could say that though, way because uh, like musicians are the same way. It's like you feed off of what's what's being like given from the audience. Right? I think I think an audience, like look at what happened when like they were, through COVID, where when people were playing games with nobody in the fucking audience, and like I feel like the audience mm. plays plays a huge part in, in like the energy that that the players and musicians kind of feed off of. Way so, yeah, way I'm I'm sure you're every they, well just to echarse la. Al, al compa pinche Oscar, uh, he didn't do that when he was with the Angels. Oh shit! Just throwing it out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. He would he would say that they they trained them, they gave him everything he knew to be able to. <laughs> Except the vibes. <laughs> that crowd, that crowd is like, yeah, that crowd is uh, uh, too mellow, too relaxed. <laughs> the Angels fans. Yeah, because the well, they're they're too they're too pedos on their cheap beers. <laughs> is oh, that what it is? Shit. Well, they're cheaper. No, I don't know about cheap, but oh, cheaper. Yeah. Oh yeah, eso sí, está, está bien caro pinche Dodger Stadium, güey. I, I know, I've been there, güey. I've never, I don't think I've been to the Angel Stadium before. I don't think I have. I've gone twice, and it's just because man, I'm the and the tickets are are free right away. Yeah, right to away. see the Angels against the Dodgers. Or? No, it was the Angels against right some other team. It was, you know, I had fun because I was with a good group of people. Mm -hmm. uh, but I wasn't really paying attention to the game type of deal. Wow. You know, yeah, I was. Wow, it was. Uh, he was he's like, I was there, but wear, I wasn't really there. Did you wear your Dodger gear? Nah, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. oh. I respect that. I respect that. Oh. I'm not, I'm not so, gonna walk into somebody else's territory. You don't respect your Dodger gear. What? <laughs> you don't respect your Dodger gear? No, I do, but I'm not gonna take it to you know. If the Dodgers are there, see, but if they're not, there's no need for me to take my Dodger gear to uh, a you know different home team. And shit. Mm, yeah, yeah, I just, can see that, I guess. You know, it's just you like... You wear your LA hat for an, to an Angels game? Well, I wear it everywhere. So. Where is it? Everywhere, way. I wore... Dick, I wore it to, uh, in Boston, way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> where those buttons are hardcore, way. But luckily, when I went there playing, it was that World Series where they are playing the Yankees when they eventually won, way. They're... they're when they broke the, the so they didn't care about the you. Curse. They were celebrating. No, they were, I mean they they weren't they weren't fucking great. But then fucking once you're both, it's like a my my enemies enemies my friend type of shit. Mm. We were in the fucking bar and you fucking everybody's cheering against the fucking Yankees and all of a sudden you become a homie. Yeah, mm, yeah. friends are like fuck the pero, Yankees. But oh yeah, you you were I was <laughs> getting definitely getting some eyeballs type of shit. Wait, uh -huh. I was like before when, like antes que empezó el juego el desmadre, you know, I was getting some fucking eyeballs when. I'm not happy eyeballs. Uh, look at this fucking LA fan mm. over And it's here. funny because I think the, the LA hat does that because like if I see a Boston hat out here or any other city and I don't, I don't really <laughs> yeah, give a yeah, shit. Like, <laughs> I don't give a shit, bro. I see but a Yankees hat. But if you hat. see a New York. Not even New yeah, York. Right? I'm, I'm, it stands out because I'm like, oh, well, There's okay. a lot of New Yorks out yeah, here. But there's yeah. a lot of Contreras out here too. Yeah, but it's like, eh, nah, way. I mean, I, I guess it's just me, way, but probably there's people <laughs> well, out there. We that, have a lot more casual fans for sure. Yeah. The weirdest one I've seen was like, a Mets 
I'm not like, you really don't see the Mets logo or the Mets. No, nah, but they're, they're cool people. Right? Yeah. We used to have a guy that came that would come to the dispensary and, and he was from New York and he was a Mets fan. And he was a hardcore one. He would come in with the Mets hat and they're cool people. Right? Definitely fucking, they, they hate the Yankees. I mean, so you yeah. have that in common. Yeah, you can bond. <laughs> you can bond with the rest of the world. <laughs> well, now know. the Dodgers are becoming that way. Because remember that that was the thing everybody hated the Yankees. Because they, they fucking just spend so much money away that they're all the other teams are like, what the fuck? Dude, but. Um, and now we're that. <laughs> it, it's funny because like, you guys remember Bernie Williams? Bernie Williams. Awesome, Do you remember he used to play for the Yankees? Oh, I think eh, maybe way. Latino, Latinos do, but his name was Berlin Williams. Um, he has a fucking Latin Grammy where he became a fucking musician. So oh, it's shit. like it's like one of those like what the fuck, bro? Well, Sammy Sosa became white, so things can happen. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, <he> did. <laughs> I remember Sammy Sosa. One time when I was a kid, I went to go see the Dodgers against the Cubs, and Sammy Sosa hit hit the only fucking run of the game when he hit a home run. That was when he was juicing. So I'm like, eh, at least I got to see a Sammy Sosa home run way. No oh, shit. No. This is way pegado and fucking cabron way those days. Barry Bonds, Maguire way. You don't think it would be more exciting sports if they just let them do fucking whatever they wanted? I don't know about whatever they want, but like if you mean like just fucking like be just open with the steroids. The boards, yeah, like uh, you guys, dude, you like be, across the board. Yeah, you're borracho. Nah, not borracho, way. Like, not the old school, not the fucking 1920s. <laughs> not smoking cigarettes during halftime. I'm saying like fucking the roided and fucking juiced up, full yeah, of tests. I think it should be fine, man. I think it would be fucking fun, bro. Puro jonron. Puro pinche jonron. Pinche, <laughs> pinche cabrón muerto because a line drive. Fucking. Or the fucking pitcher that the, <laughs> hit some dude in the head and fucking took him out. <laughs> He, he he's throwing 120 mile an hour fucking fastballs. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Melapella, Randy Johnson type Fuck of shit. Yeah, it definitely probably would be more injuries though, eh? for sure. I think. No well, fucking, they they probably have fucking uh, shorter careers, eh? Yeah. Uh, fucking, it, it opened up for the new, young talent. But it would be exciting, way. Eh? Oh yeah, like pinche con runs and yeah, fucking I, fights. Puro pinches fights. <laughs> fucking <laughs> puro vatos delicados. Yeah. You get a little delicado on that, bro. No, but I know Dodger Stadium is expensive, where. Oh, yeah. it's crazy. Y que se que los Dodger dogs ya no están... Ya no son igual. Yeah, that's no, what I heard, Yeah, time. they're not Farmer John, um, fucking... Pero todavía están como te ah, gustan, güey. Están, uh-huh. están para darte calambres. Short, they're they're short, they're, no, no están... they just lack veins, he says. Yeah, si vas a ocupar unas puntadas después de una de esas, güey. Yeah, no. need some fucking stitches, bro. I but they're, they're not... Yeah, even, even the... It doesn't have the same... F- Fucking look or taste or anything like the OG dogs. You would think they would they fucking... look similar. Way, what do you mean? No, yeah. seven must must. They're like lighter. Like the the farmer Johns are a little bit fucking más quemaditos, rojitos and shit. These look like a like a off like, like peach. Yeah, and they don't look fucking. I don't know. It's it, it looks different. Why would they change that? Where you think it's well, fucking, such an iconic money, fucking hot bro. dog? But I mean, you would think that people were fucking. Yeah, for, now who's a. Is it Hoffy or who's a. I don't know who makes them. The wiener. I haven't cared enough. I haven't had a. I haven't had a hot fucking Dodger dog. Oh no, Sasuke Miento. See, I did. Someone bought some Dodger you dogs. And, you and Ceviche Cho fucking shared a Dodger dog? Fucking they, each, they one on each end, bro. They met in the middle, bro. Yeah. Fucking, fucking yeah. late in the tramp style. Yeah, fucking, Holy shit. Yeah, pinche Ceviche Cho is maniaco, eh? Is he? Yeah. I don't know. Low key maniaco. I don't bro. know him like that. I just know him as a nice guy. El pinche. But yeah, I remember so someone bought. Se Fernie, we. <laughs> yeah. I've always seen him fucking taking pictures with this dude at the stadium. Yeah, I am done. I'm all like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's cool, cuando, eh? cuando invitan. I mean, those guys... I mean, it's... They're it's, there all the time, no? Yeah. El, el Joe, I think, back quite a bit. Are they season, el, season holders? No. El, el Alfredo, I think he's been kind of busy, but not like the other years, he, he went a lot. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how often he's gone this year, way, but I I feel if I we go off just fucking. I don't fucking, know. He's like almost at every game with him. I know. I see him. Uh, no, I mean like well, because I mean. I see it in las redes sociales. No, well, yeah. I've I've had like some fucking kind of rough years. No, y, y la, la neta, like last year, estos güeyes me invitaron un chingo to to go. We went probably more than a handful of times, way. No, sí me 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 llevaron de chicle, fucking maybe I don't know under ten times or maybe close to ten times. You know. You see Aliviana, way, because it, you know, fucking, it's a good time, way. You fucking have a couple chelas, you relax, you kind of disconnect from whatever fucking Pedos. I'm going through, you know. So it was cool, way. So I mean, gracias a esos cabrones, no, pinche. I don't know. I think Joe listens to it, so gracias, Joe. El pinche and Alfredo también, gracias, way. 
pero I don't think he listens to us anyways. Pero también, like this year, less so, but I, ese güey también, even if you go by like the, by like his post, boy, you see him que va, but he doesn't go as often porque tech, he's fucking all over the place this year, güey. El Joe fucking, I'm not sure, güey. I don't fucking, I noticed que someone must have told him he needs to live his life away from his phone a little bit more because he hasn't been videotaping fucking every game, way. Oh, okay. He used to go and fucking, ahorita que está lo Tony last year, who's it was? Uh, he fucking, everybody, about every time they're about to win a bat, saca el teléfono, va a pegar home run. Oh, shit. It's about to gonna hit a home run and record like every at bat. I and, and I noticed this year, not as much, so, so he's me, enjoying me, the game. He's enjoying it now. Maybe because nunca latinaba, so he's like, you know what? Why oh, am I fucking <laughs> wasting uh, storage on my phone with, with fucking... Hey, luego, ¿qué tal si ponía apuestas también, güey? Like, oh, well, we're, somos alados with apuestas, güey, because Alfred invented some fucking, some very skewed game where he makes up all the rules, pero essentially, at the beginning of the game, we pick, oh, who do you think is going to hit the home run? Whoever hits the, the first home run the, like of our picks... Fucking, you know, 20 baros, no? So, una puestita. And every time we pick, none of our guys ever hit a home run way. <laughs> <laughs> so, in other words, I think we're fucking up the game. <laughs> <laughs> pinches salados. Yeah, pinches salados, way. You're bringing that bad vibes, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, there's little puestas, way, but they don't work out, way. Yeah, it's fun. It's, it's a good time, way. It's fun, though, way. I mean, I, I think the last time I went was with you guys when we went to go see el, este Alfred con Gabriel. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Fluffy. El, that's, that's the last time fluffy. I was there. Yeah, yeah. I went uh, with these guys when they did the the Mexican jerseys. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I went to that game, and and I had gone to, like, one or two before that. But ahí, um, the times that I've gone now was with um, con los compas de la, de la chamba and shit. And um, they, they get the, the group tickets. You know, todavía salen caros, but... You know, it's a good time. You're there with compas, fucking yeah. having a good time, fucking cheleando, fucking talking shit, laughing. It's pretty, pretty fun, dude. Yeah, it's what I'm Like, even sin querer, pues, desconecta. You can't, mm -hmm. you can't fucking be stuck in one place, pues, like, or whatever your pedos are. Once yeah. you get into the little game, you have a cheller or two, yeah, and you relax and you fucking start getting into it. You're, you're in a whole other little world, way. So it's, it's, it's cool, way. Yeah, and I still it like, helped a lot last year. And I still like to like watch <laughs> the cool, game. Eh? That's awesome, bro. You know, yeah. I like I like to watch the game, and sometimes I'll miss out on the fucking on the chistes or whatever because estoy todavía estoy viendo el juego, güey. Mm. You know, yeah. uh, to, to lo que venimos. Did we yeah, come I, to fucking talk shit or yeah. we came to watch the game? I came to watch the game. Yeah, I tried to do both, but yeah. a veces, yeah, a veces uh, the fucking chistes or whatever is like the distraen or something. There's something going off on the other side that you're. Like fucking talking shit or cagando de risa or que alguien está bien borracho and like and you know you're over there and then you miss a fucking a key a key part of the game you know like mm. que este güey ya lo poncharon what the fuck what happened mm. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit ya lo poncharon that's funny with those yeah, fucking shit. words oh yeah, but it, lo poncharon yeah. antes que que me regañen because you know fucking these vatos like to talk shit oh let, let me fucking say it straight way no más porque antes que me regañen no me inviten otra vez el Alfred es el que me invita and then Sabicha Joe is usually the one that picks me up. <laughs> okay. So just so we get the roll straight away, you know, me, para que me sigan invitando, no, güey? Le, le van a, they're going to throw a Dewey Cox on them in 20 years. You never paid for beers. <laughs> <laughs> you, you never picked us up. <coughs> yeah. Nah, but Sabicha Joe's cool, güey, because he even offers, like, to pick up and shit, güey. That's awesome, bro. Pasa, yeah. pasa por el cantón. No, yeah, no well. que rodea mucho, pero sí tiene que rodear a little bit. To, to swing by type of shit way. So I appreciate it. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I don't know what Ramon's saying. He's a fucking maniaco. Sounds like a nice guy, right? Yeah. And, and, oh, and, and I don't know why. Maniacal, and I'm not maniacal. sure why even Alfred invites me, but... No, gracias. you're, you're Come fun, on, bro. Well, you I'm fun when I'm... No, maybe, no, no. Uh, you're fucking fun. Say lo que sea, you're fucking fun. Maybe, way. I don't no know. No te agarran en la mañana. En la mañana... If they, we, 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 like, we used to leave fucking early, way. No, I, I know. Mañana, pero. Like, if, like, you know, the, the I, I've the left without coffee. <laughs> yeah, because you woke up at 10 or 11, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. That, that's my time. Yeah, yeah. So, but no te agarrado 7, 8 in the morning. No, tampoco. You know, 7, 8 in the morning is like, hey. But I mean, Alfred doing shows, well, he's not going to fucking wake up that early tampoco. Yeah, tampoco. He's asleep, boy. Yeah. So, I mean, but no, I don't know. I don't no, know. But you, you are a fucking fan vato, boy. I don't know. But I'm I'm I am appreciative. <laughs> no, they look at his boring ways. You know, yeah. he doesn't want to take the compliment. You're nah. fucking boring for now. I don't even know why they Gracias. invite you. Yeah, I don't know either. 
Pero no, gracias a tus vatos. Que it did, it did help, it did help like a lot last year, way like this guitar, like like to get the pressure off, you know? Yeah. So it helped a lot. Even this year, the times we've gone, for some reason, have landed like in, like like good moments where I needed it type of shit. Yeah. Like it almost like they say, like in life, you know, fucking gives you little shit. Okay. Sometimes I don't believe, but like in that in that case, it, it does. You know? Yeah, I mean, life life gets a little crazy sometimes. Right? I was having this conversation with my girlfriend yesterday that uh, the older I get. The more I understand why somebody would want to fucking commit suicide, where like when I was younger, that's true, yeah. When I was younger, it's like, what the fuck, where? Why would? And the older I'm getting, the more I'm seeing things, the more I understand. Like, I get it, way. I get it. Wow. Sometimes some people are just like, they 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 try so hard to change what they're going through, and it just becomes too overwhelming, way. So the older I get, the more I'm understanding somebody that would want to do that way. Yeah, I, I think I I. Como, como te I, I think I, I when you, I hear about people, especially like when you knew someone or someone like like within, como se dice, the, the, like a shade or whatever distance from you or whatever it was. I forgot what it's called. El Pinchil or Kevin Bacon's or como that from you. Oh, whatever, degrees. Degrees of separation. There you go. The When there's someone like that, that, that even like, you know, like, oh, I know that person. I've met them at a, this fiesta, this carnazada. Even those people like I mean, like you're saying, I could kind of understand. No, I see that he's kind of going through them shit, but you don't really connect. Like, why? Why would I mean? You still have your 25 or your 30. Like, why? You still have the whole life ahead of you. Yeah, but I mean, you understand why they did it, but you don't understand why they did it. Yeah. And now, like you're saying, like the older I get, I understand more of that unknown part, boys. That you yeah. don't, you don't have that connection. Like it, like the little fibers are almost like coming together. You go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I see how it can be overwhelming. Yeah, no, I, I'm definitely more understanding with the older I get away. And yeah, stuck out on him. That's why sometimes I, I, I hear like people on the internet talk about the like assisted suicide and they're criticizing people for doing it. And, and to me, I mean, I feel like if you want that option, you should be able to have that way. Who am I to say you shouldn't do that? Because we don't know what people go through. Eh? Like from the outside, I can see a 25 year old and say, wait, what the fuck you have to worry about? You have this, you have that. But I don't know what they're going through. Eh? So who am I to say that if they wanted to have assisted suicide, that it's not. It shouldn't be an option for them. I remember the whole Dr. Kevorkian era. Yeah, remember that? Dude, yeah, that was... and, I, and I'm like, I, I don't understand it. I'm all like, oh, I mean, again, I grew up in a in a Catholic home, you know, and the point, apparently that was a fucking sin, mortal sin, you know, to try to get, you know, to end your life. And and yeah, now that I think about it, I'm well, like, okay. Why are you having carnitas? Yeah. Is in pork también not a... I don't know. That For was Catholics? the Old Testament. Catholics? That was the Old Testament. I mean, isn't that still the Bible? Mm, yeah, but the New Testament overshadowed <laughs> the, <laughs> the Old Testament. Here we go. Here we go. I, I didn't write the rules, bro. This is, this is, uh, I didn't write the rules. Look, I love act, Catholicism because it has a lot of loopholes. <laughs> this is Act 3. We started, uh, this is this is where... It has a lot of this loopholes. Is, this is where, the, where you see the subtitles right now. If you're watching this, it says dark, ominous music. <laughs> 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 this is Act 3 right now. <laughs> it's just you know like how do we get from Kirk Gibson to, to fucking uh, Dr. To fucking to mortal sin to <laughs> fucking the Old holy Testament holy shit bro fuck that's, that's true I don't holy know holy shit uh, fuck it we went for yeah from wrestling that, that is a turn wave yeah from luchador but no, but documentaries I, I remember I remember the whole Kevorkian era like everybody, even so I rem- tell people who that is, right? Because they so probably don't know who that is. That's a long Doc, time ago. Yeah, Doctor Kevorkian. It was what in the nineties? Yeah, it was in the nineties. Uh, he made he made a cereal. No, not a cereal. <laughs> yeah, cereal. <laughs> no. So it was in the nineties. Oh. Was and it this, uh, herbal medicine? No, oh. he was he was selling timeshares. Way. Right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Permit scheme. Permit scheme. Yeah. He started Herbalife. <laughs> <laughs> in the Antelope Valley out there, California City. <laughs> we haven't brought up California he, City he, in a while. He right? was from the Salton Sea. <laughs> <laughs> the Salton Sea. What a dick. So Dr. Kevorkian was assisting. Um, people with um, with uh, ending their life, you know. So I think he was doing it like he started in his clinic, and eventually he was doing it in a van. I think. Well, because they took away his license. Yeah, they took shit. away his no, license. Was, you know? Yeah, so he was like, you know, like people that were were in you know stage four or terminal, or like they were in a lot of pain. He wasn't just 
taking people's life just to take it, you know? None of us. He was in Dexter, you know? Yeah, you know, none of us porque llegabas, like, ah, oh, fuck, the mija broke up with me, fucking, because they caught me fucking. Uh, I got something for you. Yeah, trampeando and shit, and like, ah, oh, fuck. You no, no, it wasn't like that. It was like, you know, there was, you know, you were definitely at the end of your life, you know, and you're just suffering. Yeah. So he's figured that assisting uh, assisted suicide, they called it, right? Yeah. Um, was the best option. You know what? Fucking let's do it. You know, I'll, I'll fucking and I'll help you. Painless, right? Pain, yeah, it was painless. It wasn't tampoco que los estaba degollando ni nada. It was, you know, los ponía a dormir. Yeah. You know, and I and that was a big controversy at the time, you know. Fucking Dr. Kevorkian, and uh, doc, Dr. Death, they called him, I think. I think so, yeah. yeah. That sounds about right. You know, and then everybody like, oh. And I remember even hearing in church, I think they're in the homily, they know los padres, they were like, you know, we all suffer, we all go through this, but, you know, that's not the solution. And they was comparing it to like, you know, fucking Jesus knew he was going to die. He knew he was going to suffer, but he didn't. Take this route. I'm like, well, fuck. That's why he died for us, no? I, I think that that also <laughs> yeah. that also kind of contribute to the fact that we, as a society, think of it as a as a easy exit, right? We think of yeah. it as, oh, they gave up, and I feel like that that doesn't that doesn't benefit them. It more. doesn't translate that way, you know. No. I mean, we've all been in some serious pain. We've all been, you know, with algo nos ha pasado, whether it's physical, emotional, fucking traumatic, or lo que sea. But what he was doing is like these people literally physically were like fucking yeah they they were they were like yeah, ya no podían, ya no it, was, it wasn't quality of life no him. it wasn't yeah. so the best thing for you know like hey just fucking take me out no would it, would it be sacrilegious to say fucking que el compa fucking chewy Jesus fucking did a, it was a, it was assisted suicide because it was fucking suicide by Roman. <laughs> I don't know eh? I don't know that You know no. like the vatos That go out fucking Suicide by cop Yeah then no, no, But he no, could have Because you know Because I mean like you said so he, bring, knew, he knew He knew Yeah he you're knew, right And he fucking just said So I guess he mate me So you know what So we break it down He could have taken off He could have fucking Lived in hiding He could Like he had enough people To fucking Hacer el paro right But he's not like Nah Charles yeah This is a lot <sighs> Maybe he suffered From Stockholm Syndrome yeah. Where he's patient number one <laughs> Patient you know? number one or maybe he's like, hey, fucking, he knew he was going to get a paternity suit soon. He's oh, like, you know way. what? I'm kidding. <laughs> you saying, bro? <laughs> I'm going to hell for that. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm saying. Are, that, I think that uh, was more gotcha than mine. Yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was terrible. You know what? Shit. I, I just pants in Russell. Yeah, you need to go back to church, bro. You're, <laughs> you're, you're getting, getting out of control. You're getting out of control. Yeah. <laughs> well, he started his own church on the seas, bro, where there's no laws. <laughs> <laughs> International waters, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of kayaks fucking out in the ocean you know what's happening <laughs> little fucking grill on the fucking front end orally. holy shit <laughs> you know but yeah fucking so yeah that was uh, Dr. Kevorkian Dr. Death back in those days I mean fucking we had all kinds of shit Dr. Kevorkian fucking the postal fucking shootings we had the the, the bombers we, the, the Unabomber the Unabomber then we had the, the, the what was it the el que mandaba los, los, los pinches sobres with anthrax anthrax Remember that? Yeah, I remember that. And then what else did we have? Not the band CDs. But no. are yeah. you saying that? Like, like Columbia House. But <laughs> are you saying it? Because it sounds like you're saying it in the sense that nothing like that happens no, anymore. No, 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 no. It's just like, I mean, I'm remembering like, an, you know, an adolescent, all of this shit that was happening is like, fuck, too much. It's like oh, one thing uh, after fucking, the Fucking uh, David Koresh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, branch to vi the Branch to Videos and then the Heaven's Gate. Yeah. You know, the Heaven's Gate call. Like, there was a lot of fucking without social media. I mean, I still remember fucking uh, watching, like, there was one time when I was a kid and I was watching TV and then they panned to a pursuit. And this is before they had, like, the little delay oh, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I saw this dude fucking put a shotgun in his mouth and shoot himself. And the freeway, no? Yeah, he yeah. was fucking. And you see that, you're like, holy shit, what the fuck? Well, what, what did I just see? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Shit, I was watching Tom and Jerry. I was watching How did fucking. It lead to this? I was watching Saved by the Bell. What happened to AC Slater? And over here, fucking <laughs> this guy puts a fucking. <laughs> what happened to Mario? I was watching Shira. You know how they always have the little monito hidden at the end, and oh, yeah. they showed you where he was. Like fuck, I don't even know where he was. Oh, and then it cuts. It cuts back to GI Joe. The more you know. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Wait, what? <laughs> what you're, you're still trying to process. It. Fucking a, 
Yeah, mm-hmm. no, it was it was I mean, fuck a lot of a lot of shit was learned trial and error back in the nineties. A lot of the new fucking stuff that you guys don't see is because we saw it in the nineties. Yeah. Nah, but they see their own they got their new fucking shit right. Yeah, they're still going through shit, bro. Shit still yeah, happening. but that was that was Dr. Kevorkian, eh? Little fucking. There was this woman that, uh, like, two or three months ago, there she was getting a lot of shit because they were she was gonna do the assisted suicide thing, and everybody was like criticizing her. Oh no shit. Yeah, way, but um, I don't know. It's just kind of like, who are you to say that you shouldn't do that? Way? That's crazy. Because you know, it's not. But you know, it's a process way. Like, it's not. It's not like oh, I want to kill myself. It's. Yeah. Psych evaluation, it's fucking it, that is the final like straw way. It's like the final. You you have to go through a lot of shit before you, you're even like given the green light to be able to do that way. But I mean you would see her way she's in her mid twenties and you would think like, wait, what are you going through? That's so bad way, just fucking stick it out. But it's cause you don't know what people go through. Yeah. There was a uh, fucking what was it? There, I think you brought it up a while back that there was this girl that fucking like every, she was having like a, and not to get pinchy all cochino here or anything, but she was oh, getting she? constant orgasms that she's like, dude, this is no way of living. You know, I don't know. It was you that told us a story. I don't remember. What Our friend, oh, someone told me the story that like any, you know, it's like fucking one after the other one after the other it's just like this is miserable <laughs> that's crazy you, you know it's fucking miserable and i think in the in the and then in that um interview or that conversation she's like yeah sometimes i've contemplated you know because i just it's it's no way of living yeah and i'm like what the fuck and yeah i was just like ah fuck it asses you know like hey, fucking constant like fuck yeah but no and like you really think about it, like dude that's no way to live yeah yeah, even something like an orgasm, it's, if it's done too much, it's like too much, right? Too yeah. much of a good thing. Too much of a good thing is not good. Way. I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting. Everything way. in moderation. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like our own way. yeah, yeah. it's rough. It's rough, bro. I mean. Do, but, so they still have the assisted suicide zone? Uh, they, I think they it's do. Underground. Where, it's underground. No, it's not underground. Way. Well, I was just saying, okay, there's a whole process. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, I don't think. I don't, there's like therapy sessions if i remember reading the, the article looking into it they're, they're trying to do something where it's it's legalized where it's not stigmatized so much i mean yeah. and it's it's got to be on on a particular state right because i don't think it's in california yeah it's it? not in california where and I it's mean, and it's got to be like i said you go through like a whole fucking screening where it's not process, it's not yeah. just like oh yeah you're gonna get fucking here's your number yeah, come by Saturday around noon. Does that work? Because I got lunchtime. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I could, I could squeeze you in, you know. Yeah, it's a right busy before. it's a busy day. Um, I don't know if you could come in. I don't My think it's Uber like Uber Eats gets here about 12.45. I could squeeze you in 12.30. I just mm. ordered a new butcher paper away, so <laughs> it should be here in two or three days. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Yeah, I don't think it's like that way. It's a whole process. Yeah, it's got to be. And, it, and it's, I'm sure it's not easy for these fucking doctors, even though they, they, they probably tell themselves that they're doing a good service. I'm sure it's not easy to fucking do that way. When you, you probably see somebody that's mid-20s and you're like... They got the whole life. Yeah, you're like, shit. wait, really? I mean, I mean, I'm sure it's not that easy, bro, for the doctors to fucking just do that. Or well, the I mean, I, I, mean there, I just saw a thing about your... Because, I mean, we justify a lot of shit away. And I just saw a thing on the... Kind of like on the brain way and like the experiments that they did in the, I want to say in the 60s of like dividing the two halves. And they, well, that's when they figured out that there's like a whole little part on the, I don't remember if the left or the right, that its job is literally to fucking like justify things. So like they, they would divide because of people having like, like kind of like the, like you seen the orgasms, people that have seizures, like constant seizures and they have no quality of life because of all the seizures mm-hmm. or like epilepsy seizures, I see. So in the 60s, it started pretty much severing the connection that, that that from both half of your brain they would cut it so that like to kind of alleviate that so like when you had a seizure it didn't affect your whole brain so it would stop it to one side mm. so at least you can still kind of function right yeah so it, it, it turned out it was kind of working way but then they started getting weird, weird things happen so then they started having fucking that's when they did a lot of studies on the brain because of that shit and now that people i mean they're getting this uh, that was a very rare operation, but people were getting it now. But same thing, like one guy would say, okay, he like he'd button his shirt with his like right hand, and his left hand was coming behind it, unbuttoning it, <laughs> and he didn't know what what the fuck. Like he wasn't, it wasn't conscious, but but it's because they started figuring out like the 
the different parts of the brain do different things. I don't remember exactly like the left and the right, but one of them is more in charge of like uh, like more like factual things. Like like that's a red pen, right? But if if like you ask that side of the brain, okay, well, what can you do with that that fucking red pen? Do fucking draw me something with that red pen. It doesn't know how to draw you something with that red pen. Mm. It knows it's a pen. It knows it's for drawing. Like it knows like oh it's like facts like it's that's it's red and yeah like and it knows it's like for drawing but it doesn't know how to draw so fucking the other side of your brain is in charge of that so fucking they would show them like different pictures on one side they would show them like a like for example what was the the, the example they're giving but you see they'll show like on one side of the brain they'll show them a picture and then ask the the other like give a, a related picture on this side but since both sides aren't communicating like the one would have like the color or something. I'm trying to remember como estuvo. But like one of them would have additional information and then they would ask him. And since only one side of the brain is the one that has like language, because the other side doesn't have language, the one with all the facts pretty much doesn't have the language. So like if, if you gave it like a picture, it couldn't, it knows it, it like things, but it, it couldn't tell you. So like people, it's almost like they couldn't see it, but they could see it. This person couldn't order tickets online then because they're like, show me the fucking street light. Ah. Yeah, so so the thing came. They, they came to figure out that okay, like if you showed it like related pictures and like you asked it like a certain question, like it your brain like part of your brain saw this other picture, but the other brain doesn't know about this, but somehow it does type of thing. So there was a part in your left or your right that kind of justifies it, that would justify the answer, even if it, it kind of made up like its own little world. Like oh oh yeah, I I, I drew this red apple, like. They they just showed them like a like 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 they oh they said like draw a fruit and it draws like a, a red apple but that's what it showed the other side of the brain so he doesn't know was that he, he saw this red apple and the, the, the that that side would draw the red apple like a draw a fruit and you draw a red apple and then you'd ask him oh why'd you draw a red apple and that justifying part of the brain makes up a whole story of why I drew the red apple not that it it, it didn't it wouldn't just say oh yeah yeah fucking uh, my other side of the brain, fucking, there was a red apple. No, they make it up like a whole fucking elaborate story of why, oh, when I was a fucking kid, fucking this happened and fucking I remember this red apple. So there's a part of whole, <laughs> my whole thing started, I don't know, I think I just said a bunch of gibberish and rambling. But because it's hard. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's, hard, it's hard to explain when I'm trying to remember, and it's very. <laughs> it's your left side yeah. explaining the right side. Yeah, the right side we're, is like fucking. We're, we're, we're hearing your 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 theory in in real life right now. Yeah, what it's, it's very. It's because it's very technical. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the things, so it makes sense. But the point is, there's a section in your left or your right brain that its whole job was is kind of like to justify things, and it will make like a whole story up. With like little sprinkling of facts, kind of like fucking we talk about oh, okay, the news makes up things and give you little facts. Yeah, yeah. Or this conspiracies always have a little bit of facts so you can believe them. There's a whole part of your brain that does that every day, all the time. Way. It's interesting, man, because like when you hear about people that are compulsive liars, like I wonder if that's like, like when you really think about it, is that just them or is that just the way their brain is where like they just need to fucking lie about things, like. Because there's people that lie about everything, man. They lie about that shit. But I, it might just could be, like I'm yeah. saying, it could be something that that little section, that section of the brain kind of overworks, maybe, you know, like like it, for some reason that little section fucking has to be always justifying things. Like I'm telling you, it makes up whole stories of fucking just out of fucking just, just to explain things, but so that, the things that never even happen. Yeah, yeah. Like like I'm saying, like uh, the, like my example, I don't know the exact example that they give, but of course, it. The, the the one side doesn't know about that that it saw the red apple, but it saw the red apple. But since it doesn't know, it makes up a whole story of why it drew that. Oh yeah, when I was a fucking kid, I remember this happened with the red apple, and that's why I drew the red apple. Mm. But the truth is, the other side of the brain saw a red apple, so like somehow. So when you're saying it saw a red apple, it saw, physically saw it, or in no, the, like yeah, like the, 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 they show a picture, like the. Your eyes work the same way. You know how they say fucking like your left arm is controlled by your right side? Uh -huh. and Well, your right side of your fucking body is controlled by the left side. Well, your your eyes work the same way. Wait, like they have two sides to their... Each eyeball... What you see on the right kind of processes on the right. What you see on the left kind of processes on the left. So if, if they show you a picture on like your right side, your left side brain sees it and whatever. And, you know, like, like the same thing. So literally these people, they'll show them on one side. They'll show them that red apple. They'll say... To the other side that that has the the 
the the words that keep the whole stories like your your verbal stuff and your like the words they'll tell them oh like for i don't i don't remember if this is exact example but it's almost similar they'll say okay draw us a fruit but on this side they're showing them a uh, a red apple and they'll draw a red apple not knowing that they that they're seeing this red apple because the, the brains have been the the link has been severed and they'll draw a red apple oh, and then they'll ask them okay. why did you draw a red apple they know they're showing them a red apple pues, but they're not telling them they're showing them a red apple and they'll and the, that part of the brain they'll see activation in that part of the brain they'll tell a whole story oh when i was a fucking kid this happened with the red apple and i remembered that when you said the, about the draw fruit so i drew a red apple but the truth is they were seeing a red apple on the other side of their brain they just weren't communicating well, and, and so this connection happens through due to an injury or it's just they, they were in in these cases it was like i said it was like the like severe epilepsy where they're having like strokes like this guy was saying about like the orgasm all the time they're having a bunch of like the seizures and stuff so they they one one of the severe things they tried was to cut the little stem and the like that connects the two the two sides of the brain, and then they go let's see what happens. We think it'll be fine, and yeah, for the most part people were fine. But then after when people started reporting weird things like that one, like their one arm will fucking start drawing things, and they're not even like they they never even thought like hey I want to draw something. Their hand would just start drawing shit, or like I said, the one dude fucking said that. Sometimes when he was tying his shirt or buttoning his shirt, his other hand would fucking be untying, un unbuttoning it like under behind it. Way, so shit like that started happening. So they started doing a bunch of experiments and they figured out a whole bunch of like brain shit, like what what side does what, like different sections that fire up when you're making decisions, stuff like that. Fucking a lot of the stuff, man. Oceano, like oh shit, it's my my left side of the brain, dude. It's not communicating. Ah, oh, mija, my arm Fuck. doesn't know. Yeah, yeah. My brain is disconnecting. I mean, it is scary to think that one day you can just. From one moment to the next, your brain works different way, yeah. and you're a different person. I mean, that's that's pretty crazy. Well, I mean, like like I said, like their 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 actual like character and everything didn't happen. They just started having like these little like I'm glitches just, in the matrix. Uh, I'm not referring to like people that are epile that have epilepsy uh, or seizures. I'm just talking about just people just their brain just one day yeah just gets wired differently. Oh, like, like schizophrenia you, too. You right? start you start getting you're a different person. Like in the moment, you're like your brain just fucking works differently. Like I mean, that's scary. Where well, even I I, I might send it to Ramon because there's little sections too where where I was like ah, so scared. This might explain a lot of fucking uh. A lot of Ramon is. Ramon's fucking haunted shit way that he always sees haunted Damn, shit. Bro, you could get a check said. every month. Bro. Why are you Fuck. fucking running? Why are you working, bro? <laughs> no, my whole thing you is might like, qualify for hey, Ramon, why didn't you clean up? I did, but the left side of my brain fucking is all cochinero otra vez, you know? Like, fuck. No, but I'm saying like that, that little disconnect was that you can, you can kind of like see something and not see it or not even have like the words to describe <sighs> That you saw something. ¿Cuántos pinches potazos no me dio en la cabeza, güey? It's okay. like uh, George, George Collins used to say, I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than a front of the bottom me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's shit. another weird one, too, güey. The fucking, the, the, well, what is it, the ice pick through the fucking... Yeah, that was that was a little bit before, like, that one, too. I think because uh, there was something related with the lobotomies, too, because somehow they figured out that, about that little stem mm -hmm. and that it might be okay if they fucking... Sever it, Sever it. Oh, Cause shit. it's literally Like a little It's like tissue That, that just kind of Connects it Yeah it's like the A bottom. little membrane right Like in the bottom Yeah, yeah. So like They the fucking would just The little mochaban Sas You mentioned that They can't order anything online Cause they can't put the The lights <laughs> you said, Ramon? You said something like that, no? like you were saying something crossword about or bridge, like oh yeah, 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 yeah. That that fucking, do you know the dude that created that is a fucking Guatemalteco way? No, the I think it's called Gacha or some shit like the, that. The capture, or capture, whatever. yeah. It's a dude from Guatemala where he he fucking made that, and he's the same guy that started Duolingo. Oh shit! Yeah, that dude's fucking crushing it, bro. Shout out to the shout out to the Chapinas, fucking. They're trying to order fucking tickets, and I'm like, all right. Where the, where's the car at? Where's the stop sign? Or where are the lights? Like, fuck, I, I don't know. It's kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. I get the security part of it, but yeah. sometimes we're like, wait. And sometimes I'm looking at it where I'm like, it's touching the edge of the, yes. that bridge. <laughs> oh, you so, mean, the, you yeah. mean the, the Google ones with yeah. the pictures? Like, I'm like, is this, is like this a motorcycle? But it's like sometimes when they want you to say uh, which ones are the bridge, then sometimes yeah. there's a little fucking edge that's in the block that doesn't have the bridge. <laughs> so you're like, 
Are you counting that as a bridge as well? Like I'm confused. Man. I, wanna, I just want to buy these fucking tickets. Where? Yeah, but the, the, yeah, I'm saying when it tells you the like the bridge or like oh fucking click the boxes with the bus, you know, and, yeah. it, and the bus is like there's a tiny bit of it like a in little, the other box. There's a little yantita <laughs> yeah, on yeah, that on yeah. that block. <laughs> yeah. You're like, does does it count? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, dude, I just want to buy tickets. Where I'm over here fucking overthinking this. Yeah, I've those, never been denied if I don't click it or if I. Extra I've gotten to like it. repeat it. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. where like you would like I go fuck it, let me see and oh, it, sure. it, it gives you a new picture. Like try again. No, I haven't had that, but I'm not always on it. It's rare, so I'm sure. I'm like ah, because I mean the left side of my brain is like, hey, wait, I stop, but the right ones are like. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. Like but technically, it's not we. Yeah, so I I got a fucking a little battle going on. Shit, yeah, bro, you might you might be eligible for a check. Fucking <laughs> a lobotomy. <laughs> Chet, yeah, yeah, nah, I don't want a lobotomy. No, fuck that. Shit, I'm all man. about my fucking my memories and my stories. You making that thing? Yeah, they're a little flawed sometimes. Hey, but it adds to it adds it adds it adds to the fucking Does whole it? story. No, of it. no, you add to the story. Yeah, but <laughs> every, it adds every time to you it. say it, you add to it. <laughs> it makes and it interesting. And we hear the story in three years, all of a sudden there's some new shit added to it. I'm like, wait, <laughs> oh, yeah, because I forgot to break that up. New new facts have been discovered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, at bro. the time, we we didn't have this link, and now we do. Oh, shit, wait. Oh, it's happy with us for anyway. This is pasado. All the time. Uh, pasa algo, and then I'm like, hey, wait. Now, do you remember, or did you hear that this happened? Like, now it makes fucking sense. Oh, now yes. you make the connection. Like, oh. Yeah, when someone tells you another like, Yeah, another video. part of it. Oh, like, shit. Oh, ra, so that's why this happened. Oh, just, okay. Just like the the fucking, uh, como se llama, the Undertaker's manager. Remember? I told Paul Burr. Certified yeah. mortician, bro. Like, so oh, I got the holly. Oh, the Undertaker. <laughs> it was fucking weird, bro. It's creepy. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> and all, yeah, las pinches ojerotas que le hacían. Yeah. All pale and everything. Like, ah, se me si dice. Ese cabrón me sale en el callejón si le dejo un pinche pedo en la noche, el cabrón. <laughs> you run the other way, bro. Fuck yeah. If he's fucking walking through an alley with a fucking urn, fucking <laughs> like, like he's holding the Lion King. Did they ever say who was in there? No, in the, I think his urn? parents. No, or some shit. I think it was the Undertaker's parents or something. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, why sure. the Undertaker was drawn to it, supposedly. But I, I could be wrong, but I, I think it's... Oh, it. didn't they steal it once or something? Yeah. Yeah, they stole it, right? I, I remember the story was con, con empezó, no? que his, his, his parents, his family, like his parents and his brother burned in the... In a fucking yeah, house that, fire that, or something. That was the Kane character, right? That's why he was like... No, well, the, the, that, that was the, that, that's what I'm saying. That was the story, the, the Undertaker story, pues que his family... Was was burned like in a fire, I guess like at the house fire. So, like the casa se quemó and it killed the the parents and the brother, which was Cain. Well, they didn't name him yet. Porque mm. when the Undertaker, because when I was watching the little thing, at the Undertaker when he came out originally, he had Cain in his name way, Cain the Undertaker or something like that. And then after it connected, that like he kind of took his brother's name like mm. like in honor or whatever. And then when his brother came back, that's why he was supposedly burnt. Que porque he survived, they needed no. Por eso estaba medio tapado en way at the mask because he was burnt. Oh, from shit. From the fire. I had no idea. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, but I don't remember the urn part. I don't remember who fucking was supposed to be in the urn. Yeah, and he was from Death Valley, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah, Simon. <laughs> of course he was. He's, yeah. It doesn't have a ring from California City. <laughs> no. California City. From Death Valley. From right. Palmdale, California. And he was like from the Midwest, no? El pinche. I can't remember where he was from. I mean, I just saw the thing. But he was like from the Midwest. Like, have from a San Dimas. <laughs> yeah. From El Monte. El Monte. <laughs> it doesn't have a ring, wait. From Des Moines, Iowa. <laughs> from from C- 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 City of <laughs> Terrace. City <laughs> Terrace. El Undertaker. <laughs> it doesn't have a ring, wait. I mean, if he was from Whittier, it wouldn't It wouldn't hear, wait. From Redwood City. <laughs> he had to be from Death Valley, wait. Because fucking Pico Rivera, Whittier, it's, it's not gonna sit while we're <laughs> stay away <laughs> from Rose Hills. <laughs> <laughs> no, mom is with. Oh my god, <laughs> no, from Rose Hills? maybe Rose Hills. Oh, fuck you, all right, <laughs> maybe Rose Hills from Glendora. <laughs> Just stay away, <laughs> Glendora. No tiene sonido, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it had to be Death Valley. I wonder if in the board meeting they were like, Wait, where's it gonna be from? and then they threw all these cities uh, out there. Fuck, I don't know, it's just man. Hit, bro. Fucking Death Valley? Oh, you know what? 
uh, Kansas City way? Can, yeah. Kansas City, no? It's from Detroit. Nah. Detroit? No. Nah. Doesn't, doesn't hear, bro. Nah. <laughs> no, because then the raza, pues, es de tri, Detroit, ¿no? <laughs> He's setting himself up. Detroit. No, <laughs> He's setting himself up, we. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we're going to have a lot of fucking... <laughs> <risa> es el Detroit. Es el Detroit, güey. Le van a dar por todo su Detroit. <risa> hey, uh, ¿From Dallas? Dallas. I don't no, know, güey. No, no, Dallas, Texas. Oh, he's like from Texas somewhere. Dallas, güey. Dallas, Dallas, Texas, no. Yeah, he is from Texas somewhere, güey. He is from Texas, pero uh, we're talking about the albur, güey. Yeah, no, but I'm saying. No, but I'm saying it makes sense. The Medas. You gotta be the, from a big the, city. The Medas, Texas. Medas. <risa> el chico medallas de Dallas. <laughs> the Undertaker. <laughs> oh, shit. El, como el director del fúnebre. <laughs> ah, este güey no pagó el video de la luz, se la pagaron el culero. <laughs> Oh, Ay, güey, that's the fuck, güey. Ay, de la chingada. La cagó McMahon, güey. Yeah. She, she could have fucking... I mean, they, we weren't, you know, we weren't where we're at now. Éramos unos pinches mocosos. No, that's why we don't have a, a wrestling federation, bro. Imagínate... Puro albur. Puro albur. Yeah, los pinches luchadores, güey. Fucking, we have some fucking, some good fucking names, dude. If you were in charge of it? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What's your luchador? Your, I don't know. Be, what's going to be your star? I don't know. Oh, va a ser el señor Ever Galarga. <laughs> Ever Galarga. Ahí <laughs> viene el señor Galarga. Oh, Ever. Shit. Oh, shit. You know, I don't know. Just fucking funny names like that, way. It'd be fucking, it'd be hilarious. But I think we got to the end of it, no? All right. All right. Pon las rolas, eh? All right, all right. Raza. Pues ya llegamos al final. Um, thank you for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget, um, you can help us out by joining the Patreon. As you can see, oh shit, we got some. That's Dave. No, it's not all Dave though. I think they see some different colors on there. Somebody else. I see a J, I see an F, I see all kinds of other little letters there. So um, you could, uh, you know, watch the, the, the podcast as it's being recorded. Um, you could also help us out by promoting the podcast, sharing it. Downloading it, telling your tia, your tios, your primos, primas, everybody, you know, and co workers. También. And you can also help us out uh, through our website. Go to an Instagram page. There's a link in the bio, and it takes you straight to the to the website and you could order merch there if you don't have Instagram because you're like fucking I don't want the, the government fucking seeing everything I do just go to uh, www.chicanoshuffle.com and you could go through there navigate it through there other than that um, really appreciate it welcome back Stevs. you know and um, oops, I don't have anything else friends you got anything mm. um, hope everybody enjoyed their Labor Day weekend you know it's a uh, fucking that's true you know Everybody had an extra day off, so if you're catching this on Tuesday, good for you. If you're catching it later on in the week, we get it. You know, but don't always, you know, don't forget, you can always reach to us, fucking comment on our post, comment on our fucking Instagram. Eh, como sea. Pero se agradece. Other than that, Steph, you got anything coming up? No? All right, Raza. Hasta la próxima. And al ratos with that, eh? Or maybe now we don't know. Uh, that's on the brain, right? Yeah, can't uh, Yeah, can I send the link? <laughs>